¿Necesitas un taquero? Pues busca Taquero Mucho para todo evento social. Bodas, 15 años y hasta divorcios. Llame o mande un texto al 773-969-9006. Además, contamos con servicios de delivery a su casa con las aplicaciones de Uber Eats, Grubhub y DoorDash. O si gusta, puede ir directamente a su página de internet, taqueromuchochicago.com. Con el amigo Iván Ramos y Arriba Zacatecas, primo. Un saludo to Crafting Lux. They provided us with our printed logo on our table cover. Make sure you check them out on Instagram and Facebook at Crafting Lux. They also provide wall decals, vinyl printing, stickers, and custom cups. Also, for our 420 vendors, they also provide printing and packaging supplies with your customized logo. Besides Instagram and Facebook, Stephanie can also be reached via text at ¿Qué tal amigos? Sus compas. Los Calentanos Podcast. Uh, we're back. We are back once again. Claro que sí, señoras y señores. Otro episodio. Esperando que hayan escuchado nuestros previous episodes. Ya que pues hay uh, unos pequeños cambios ya de escenario también. Este, tenemos este. We, compramos, co compramos cosas nuevas. Estamos tratando de evolucionar el podcast. New beer. New beer también, porque estamos a dieta light, ahorita. Light. Yes, estamos a dieta ahora. Estamos a dieta. Claro que sí. Hoy estoy con mi compa. Misal Arroyo para servirle. Saludos, saludos para toda la gente que los escucha. Para toda la gente que los escucha en Spotify, Apple Podcasts, en YouTube. Saludos, saludos para todos ustedes. Y mi compa. Tino Figueroa. Por ahí saludos para toda la gente de Guerrero, la gente de Zacatecas que nos sigue. La gente de Durango, la gente de Michoacán, la gente del Estado de México. Por ahí saludos para toda la gente bonita. Compadre, tengo unos saludos. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to... Uh, To be, be around en la música y luego también la gente pues ahí dice oh you're the guy from from los calentanos podcast shout out to all the other, other guys and then they go mandanos saludos en los, en los pods which is which is awesome They're like like yeah, people yeah. are actually listening uh, saludos para los hermanos Juárez del estado de México que son troqueros compadre yeah, allá yeah. por no, los compas troqueros Northwest suburbs compadre y también saludos para el compa Raúl Díaz ahí en la aduana dice que en el jale se echa todas las épocas que se apuren y saquen más dice hey, hey. Ahí también para mi compa Edwin Segura, que también es troquero. Ahí para todos los, este, todos los compas ahí. Este, también mi compa de, de Corazón Orteño, también los compas. Todos oh, para el compa nos, Lupe, saludos, saludos. Yeah. Todos ellos nos escuchan, como a Cisco, todos ellos nos escuchan. Y pues muchas gracias por el apoyo. Recuerden to subscribe and like everything we have para que Share. pues sigamos este, expandiendo nuestros horizons. Esta tarde tenemos un compa, un compa. Bueno, él dice que no es de Guerrero, pues sí es de Guerrero. Luego la cara se le ve, aunque ya que es de Jalisco. <risa> Pero aquí estamos aquí con mi compa Ricky Mena de Meritito yeah. Guerrero, primo. Welcome, fam. Welcome, welcome. ¿Cómo anda mi compa Ricky? Good, I love good. your jersey, bro. Ajá, ah, charro de Jalisco. Yeah, so, Shut yeah. the fuck so, up. So tell us that. that. So you're, you're from Jalisco and Guerrero, right? My, my dad is actually born in Cuernavaca, but my family's raíces y el apellido Mena, la, la hacienda de... Oculis Tabacán. Saludos para la gente de la tienda. I don't know how to say it, bro. There's a lot of family out there. También, mía, mi, mi abuelo tenía un hermano en la hacienda. So, there's a lot of Figueroa's also en la hacienda de Oculis Tabacán. So, yeah, my, my grandpa. Son los matones. I know. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, but, yeah, they murdered a couple of people. Over there. <laughs> Damn. My grandpa always said, no, I tengo un hermano ya que se ha vuelto. I'm like, go oh, in the high school, boy, con, con gente que son de la hacienda en grammar school, because I, I had friends growing up. And he'd be like, yeah, ya tengo un hermano. And I'm like, Because my grandpa's men a Figueroa. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sí. So we're, son, son primos entonces. Son primos. Maybe. Se nota. Ten, tenemos la misma barba. Hey. <laughs> y el mismo cuerpo. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. we forgot to put the other. That's, that's, that's why I'm drinking uh, light, light beer. Yes, yes. Yeah, no, but for real, my grandpa is Mena Figueroa. Sí. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. Son primos. Que vean, el pinche perfil europeo se nota luego luego de lejos. That's why he knows how to say the name. La hacienda de... Oculis Lavacán. Por ahí saludo a la gente de Guerrero. That is fucking hard to say. La gente de Ahuehuepan. 
Por ahí saludo para la gente de Huevepan, la gente de todos los ranchitos que van pasando uno para arriba, para allá, para hasta llegar a la entrada de Tosizapan y Tamascalapa, o The One by Huevepan para Tamascalapa para arriba. Por ahí saludo para toda la gente que nos escucha por allá. Aquellos rumbos y la gente de Iguala. Claro que sí, primo. So, bueno, bienvenido, bienvenido, compa, compa. Ricky, ya se me ha olvidado. The other nombre, Ricky. Oh, no, Ricky. Iba, Shout out to my brother Ricky. Ricky there, there, I was going to call you Abel. Abel. I was going to call you Abel. Oh. What happened to your brother? I thought he was going to come. <laughs> call him. Un saludo. Culo. Claro so, que sí. Bueno. So where exactly empezamos. are you from? You say you're from half de Guerrero? My, so once my grandparents are from Guerrero, straight. Uh, my dad was born in Cuernavaca. If I know the story correctly, it's because my grandpa trabajó en la carretera. So that he was stationed or whatever you want to call it in Cuernavaca for when my dad was born. Uh, oh, okay. Then my dad got here at age two and then his sister was six. Then his other one brother and two sisters were born here. But my dad got here at age That's two. Badass, eh? so, so, so he came like really young then. Really? My dad's American. He's he, not. He hardly knows Mexico then. No, hell no. That's, that's cool. And then my mom is Jalisco, and that's where I claim. And what, what part of Jalisco <laughs> is that? Uh, la Villa de Purificación. El Filtro. El Filtro. Eso. Yeah. La Villa de Purificación, Jalisco. Para pa la gente allá de, de la familia Peña, la familia Delgadillo, por ahí saludo para la gente de, de, de la Villa de Purificación, Jalisco. Peña, sonríe. Eso. Para ahí. Saludos para el compa Freddy. Eh, oh, de yeah. Freddy. I don't know if he hears us, pero saludos para él, la yeah, gente de Jalisco. La familia del gadillo. Por ahí, el saludos, Ivan, ¿no? el compa Ivan. Ahora, ¿no? Claro que sí, vamos a mandar el saludo para nuestros panzos por ahí mismo. Oh, claro que sí, un saludo para Taquero Mucho, para el compa Iván. Puro Zacatecas. I was going to say Jalisco. Ah. <laughs> hey, yo, he snapped on that chile de chicharrón. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Everybody's telling me that. He snapped, bro. It, 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 and I'm I, not a fan of I it. I didn't eat it. I'm not a fan, but... So, so, so I'm weird. Like, when I, when I host a party, I don't eat till, like, hasta ya que se acaba todo el pedo, porque I'm, like, nervous. And then, every time I kept trying to, like, eat, Somebody will come and give me a shot, like you. And yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. And then I'm like, oh, pues, pues, ya que ya, ya hasta la noche, like literally, like at, when I no, get home. No, because you still had to sing, and I think that's the musician part of us. I don't know about you guys, but well, a lot I, of I us don't, don't even like get to fucked up three hours shit. before. I, <laughs> I don't like to eat before a party. You just don't know how that food's gonna. Oh sing. yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Sure. No, 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 no. But I mean, I, I have a thing now that I'm older that I don't eat like three hours, two hours before I play because yeah. I'm sube. Like I'm singing, it just fucking sneaks up, and you're like, oh. Oh, the shit. fucking agruras kick in. Yeah. Bro, I'm I had so al pastor thinking. this weekend because I was just hungry before the our last gig. Bad idea. Stupid bad idea. I was choking <laughs> on stage in the last hour, bro. Damn. That, but that chile chicharron, Chicha, man. It was, chile chicharron it was, was fire. fire. I only got it because my compadre Jeez. recommended it. It was oh, amazing, man. I thought he just did it because he knew he was coming for Guerrero people. <laughs> no, no, like, because he, he kept saying, oh, he loves He's like, like, it's either fajitas or chile chicharron. I'm like, chile chicharron. I just, I just hit the love button on the comment. <laughs> Uh, he, he's like, oh, if you're going to order the chile de chicharron, I'm like, yeah, yeah, order. Get it. Anything was, for my compadre. It was fire. It was, my compadre was just talking. I didn't taste it, man. I'm going to have to order me my, like, some, side, some side dish on one weekend. It was fire, though. It so was if you actually want to try their food, if you want to try their food, if you want to try their food, marque the number 773 970 0750. Hace taquizas. Hace. Uh, one of the best taquizas. Yeah. Like, he has, like, packages on the viene con este, like, frijoles. Carne asada fries. Y, y si vives en la área de Chicago, al norte, puedes ordenar por Uber Eats. Y I think you order directly from the website. Yeah, yeah. También. And then uh, until uh, the end of July, you get a 5% discount if you say Los Calentanos Padres. <laughs> <laughs> También un saludo para Stephanie, mi la prima Stephanie, que... Y hasta ahorita nos dio el mantel. <laughs> hasta ahorita nos dio el mantel, right? <laughs> She gives us... Uh, our, she's making our shirts. She's making all our, all our gear. You so. forgot to iron it. Yeah, las tangas también. De, no, de she did, pero la venté en la tra atrás de la troca y dice... Wow. Sorry, man. Oye, un saludo, saludo para, todos, para todos ellos. Ahí también para mi compa Moy, saludazos ahí para Roman pa Graphics pa también. Roman graphics. Para, para toda esa gente que le, uh, quiere playeras, quiere whatever. Ahí están todos, también como la, la prima de Misa también hace lo mismo. Así que, we have some good sponsors behind our backs. And, and okay. give me a second. Moy did the, the skin for my drum. So anybody, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, right. yeah, yeah. he did the artwork for my, uh, the bombo. And yeah. he's actually doing some caps for me that I got to go pick up this week. Did he do the one for your truck? The, lo the logo? Oh, he did the, the logo for my truck, too. The Conjunto I think, Rayero I, one. I think, I think every guy has that logo, no? Atrás en la troca. Uh, we did at one point, but yeah. I'm the last one to keep it, yeah. yeah. For, <laughs> what? Uh, uh, they sold trucks. They Actually, uh, yeah, a couple guys sold their trucks already since. Nice, nice. Yeah. Damn. So uh, upgraded, man. For you guys that didn't know, aquí mi compa Ricky es el baterista, dueño, GM, de conjunto arroyero. I'm more, uh, I'm more like HR. <laughs> HR. <laughs> HR. You're the one that keep it, keeps it down. I'm you? the one that informs of a little bit of everything and keeps everybody happy somehow. 
Órale. It's a lot of work. Well, our, our goal today is to get you like, uh, like how you got at the guac pot. No. Nope. Por ahí salud para los compas del guac pot. Ahí está el mezcal. Ahí está el mezcal. Ahí está el mezcal. Celso. Hey, hey Misa. Grab, grab, grab. I'll do mezcal if you know what. What? What? Uh, I need that number. <laughs> oh, yeah, pues aquí te lo doy otra vez. Hold on. Let me give it to you. <laughs> what number are we talking about? No, I think it's the party line. Oh, the party <laughs> line. The party line there. Hey, uh, talking about party lines, you guys ever call the party line back in the day? Never. I did. Yeah, I did. You, I had a mailbox. I think I did. You had a mail. You were that. Yeah, like, into I was, I was into bro. It. I had one of my. Oh, friends. Here's the number, way. Taquero mucho. Siete siete tres nueve siete cero cero siete cinco 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 cero. Damn. There you go. See, now yeah. you gotta now you gotta take a shower, bro. Yeah. Hey, you wanted the number? I give you. Nah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> take a shower, bro. Dale. Que empiece con misa. A ver. Dale con misa a ver si es cierto. Oh, okay. COVID, we gotta be COVID. COVID safe. friendly. <laughs> COVID safe. Oh, oh, es un saludo para oh, el compa Fry de lo que los traje el mezcal we, we still de, got some mezcal de cuando vino and, man, this, this was so it. It was I'll good. be honest this is delicious man before you start just Celso can you tell him what happened to me the last time I was in this basement uh, you knocked out on the floor no <laughs> mames <laughs> no mames <laughs> no mames you were here cuando cuando se dieron like a year ago bro and I I slipped out like at 5 in the morning <laughs> Yeah, I left him sleeping. Todavía lo cubriste. 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 Todavía lo I'm going to start talking like Jesse. Como hombre, wey. Yeah. Ay, cabrón. Hey, this is delicious, huh? That shit's strong, bro. Dude, it's delicious. That's straight from the mother. Hey, yeah. That's the Jalisco yeah. kicking in. Yeah. Es que apenas acabo de ir a ver a ver a Buzz Lightyear, bro. No, I haven't seen it yet. No? I, I want to go see it, but I, I haven't seen it. it so, 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 you know, um, thank you for coming, Ricky. You know, thank you for making some time for us. Um, so, basically, we're going to be, you know, it's not really an interview. It's una, una charla aquí entre compas. Um... So what 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 got you into the music scene, bro? Because I know you be, your your resume is 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 pretty big. Because I, I I know I've been seeing you on stage for a while now. Um, the longest I remember is when you were with uh with um with the Navigantes de Mexico. Eh? No mames, no, no soy Rafael Nava. <laughs> no, with a uh, banda Cupido, creo. Right? No, so before, so that, before that, where did well, Ricky well, Mena start? The beginning. So I started with Signo Alacranero when I was like 14 years old, bro. And um, did we, they have a commercial on Juan no, 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 no. I think they did. No, maybe I don't know. But I was like 14 years old, and that's around the time we moved to Palatine, and I would um, I would pace bus it from Palatine to to Maywood. Oh shit! Oh damn! That's yeah. a long history. No, so what? So, long story short, my mom, my dad was a drummer, okay. um, and my mom hates music, bro, because that's all my dad ever. Is it like to. Coco? Huh? Like the movie Coco? Like no, well, kind of, know. but um, <laughs> kind of. That's all my dad ever talks about music, music, music. So right? did you did you play music at, in the school? Después, después, después. So my oh, but you said you were fourteen. When you were yeah, I was fourteen. So um, my mom hated music. My dad didn't want me to be a musician. So his brother actually me regaló a drum set. <clears throat> but my dad sold it for fifty bucks. I still remember this, bro. Damn. He sold it for fifty bucks. And um, it was, he didn't want me to be a musician. Then I got straight A's. And my, you remember in CPS, we used to have half a days? Yeah. My mom asked me, she's like, ¿Qué quieres de regalo? You know, you, you deserve it. I'm like, quiero una batería. So my mom. She bought you some double A's? No, no, no. My mom. The ones you press. Culeros. No, my, my mom told me, what do you want? I'm like, quiero una batería. She's like, okay, the next half a day we'll go because my dad wasn't home at that time. You went to La Voz Hispana? No, we went to Sam Ash in, Pal in Arlington Heights. Oh, I, don't oh, know if, I don't even know if that's still open. I don't think no, so. I think it's only the South Side one right now. Yeah, so we went to Sam Ash. I picked out uh, a Tama kit, which I still have actually to this day. You have a whole collection actually, right? I have. I have I'll four drum sets. I'll give you fifty sets. bucks for that one. Huh? I'll give you fifty nope. bucks. It's <laughs> not for sale. It's it's my my first drum set. It's still there. I hope you you, you have it off the ground, right? No, it's on the ground, but oh, yeah, it's still man. there. Se le hunde el pinche basement también. Wow. That, también. It, actually, no. So, uh, Misael is my handyman on the side. <laughs> Siempre me habla el güey. Like, hey, can you come and fix this? Y ya me he FaceTimes me. I'm like. Hazle esto, güey, hazle esto. Hazle. Misael, ¿Qué, ¿Qué dices? Métele cerillo. Métele <laughs> cerillo, güey. <laughs> no, vale, echas silicón y ya. La, segur, la seguranza oh, no. paga. So, yeah, my mom buy, bought me the drum set, and um, by the time my dad got home, I had already beat the shit out of it, so there was no returning it. <laughs> and I would make too much noise at home, so my mom was like, find a group, 
because my dad wouldn't let me play at home. And I found a group in Maywood, and I would pace bus it to the practice. You didn't take the whole drum set, did you? No, no, no. They had a drum set there. Oh. And um, I just had, I remember I had to leave practice by like 8.55 because the pace bus to go to my grandma's in the city uh, was at 9.05. So if I missed the 9.05 bus, I was fucked. I had to walk from uh, Lake and Fifth Avenue all the way to Harlem. Damn. Oh, shit. And I missed By North it, Avenue, right? Uh, no, I would walk on Lake. Oh, so the towards Oak Park? Cuando, so tan bonito? It, it was Lake. And no, yeah, I would walk through the nice park, Oak Park, yeah. <laughs> and then um, I remember once the rain caught me. And at that point is when my, I called my grandpa. I'm like, hey, come pick me up. And he picked me up. He's like, mijo, mejor, déjame saber y yo paso por ti. So my grandpa would come pick me up from practices. And I would sleep at my, gra at my grandpa and grandma's. And then my dad the next day would pick me up from, from after work. He would pick me up from my grandma's house. So oh, then shit. I would go back to Palatine. So no a la escuela, wey, I would miss a day of school, yeah. <laughs> oh. So that was that was Duranguense, right? Duranguense days, yeah. Like so, what year was that? Uh, freshman year, so uh, 04, 2004? No, okay. Freshman I think, oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, because I graduated in 08. You, you graduated with my wife too, no? Yeah, so that's, <laughs> I'll go into that story in a few, <laughs> but um, yeah, so 04, I did like six months in Signo de la Cranero, then I did like a year and a half in Aguilillas, then I did like three years in Cupido. Aguilia. Oh, that's how you know Copy. And that's where I know Copy and them. So and that's where I met you. But I knew of you. Well, I didn't meet you. But I no. knew of you because of your wife. She went to school with me. Yeah. But um, your wife is good friends with my cousin. And my cousin would tell me, oh, yeah, her boyfriend at that time. Toca el mensajero. Uh, toca el mensajero. <laughs> and I already knew about mensajero. And um, I, I remember my grandpa, the same grandpa. He showed up un día con the Pirata CD. And and we, and he, didn't, he didn't buy it. Yeah, he didn't buy it. Man. No, no, no. Thanks for the support. No, <laughs> my, grandpa was, my grandpa was el presidente del comité de, de la hacienda. Oh, shit. Sure. So my grandpa would hire all the bands. And you still repping Jalisco, man? Yep. Hey. In front of his face, too, I would do it. Like, really? I, I swear to God. I would have never picked you up. <laughs> <laughs> no, and so here's the thing. My dad, too, and we'll get into that as well. But my dad <laughs> on his truck, decía Jalisco. And mind you, my dad's the Guerrero guy. But uh, ah, la troca era de tu mamá, entonces. No, la troca era de mi papá. <laughs> Did it, but, a, did it have a cow in the back, too? No. A bull? But my dad, a my grandpa was the <laughs> president del comité, so all the Guerrero groups, all the, terra, the Costeño music, I grew up with all that, you know, because of my grandpa and sus bailes de la comité, it was for a year, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, and his house was where, you know, they leave the beer, like, yeah. el que dona la, el 24 and all that, ahí right, estaban right, todos, right. you know, so we would go. So did we, you ever visit allá, La Hacienda? La Hacienda we've been to, and so have Abel and my sister Dalia, mm -hmm. and the like I was telling Celso at Faustino's Bautizo, the reason why we claim Jalisco, we don't like Guerrero, but we don't like it because we would go two months of the year to Jalisco because my mom was a lunch lady. So she had the summer break off también. Uh -huh. So, and I remember my mom would take... Oh, so you would, you would stay two months? A month a month and two weeks in, 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 in La Villa, uh -huh. and then we would stay our last two weeks in Guadalajara. Oh, nice. So we would do two months, our whole summer break in Jalisco. And then I remember when our parents took us three to Guerrero, you, you all like, three of us didn't like it. And yeah. we didn't like La Hacienda, and we didn't like Acapulco. Really? Because like, uh, we would go to La Villa, and we would go to Colima or, or Vallarta. And it's, it's way different. a different story but over Villa, there. La Villa Urucación is more like a city, no? It's 7,000 people, bro. And but compared me, to La, la Hacienda, La Hacienda un, un pueblito, is like 100, 200 yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. guys know better than I do yeah, at this yeah. point. Yeah. But, and remember, when but, we went to La Hacienda, there was no water. Like, my grandpa was part oh, of the... So you just saw the worst of it. Wait. The worst of it, like, where you had to dig a hole and go right. to the bathroom in the backyard type of <laughs> shit, you know? No hot water, like, you would carry buckets. People are watching, like, what do you mean dig a hole? Like, yeah. no, so we got to see that, and we never liked it. And on top of that... So, in Jalisco, you had toilets. We had all that. Running and, water. And then, like, you disappear, and you go to the river. While we went to the river in La Hacienda, yeah. bro, that was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, oh, and mind you, in La Villa, there's nothing to do but... Go, vete al Rio. Yeah, yeah. That's our fun over there, and that was fun for us, you know, or Los Pajaretes at fucking 6 in the morning. Damn, at 14? Damn. You were 14, though, bro. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's normal over there. there. Don't get us canceled now. Right? <laughs> Shut up. Different, different rules in Mexico. But that's, that's the major thing, and so my dad, like I said, he obviously he went more times to La Hacienda than us. He, would, he loved La Villa, too. Like, he would go for two, he, he would join us for our last two weeks in La Villa. Yeah. He would go over there and 
it was fun for us. So that's why all three of us claim Jalisco. Basically, you spend more time and we spend yeah. way more time over there. That's yes. good, man. That's that's why. Have you and gone recently or? Last year I went over there on a quick trip, but oh, but you got a trip coming. Oh, up, you went no? to uh, La Hacienda. I went to a, a quick. La no, 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 no. We you went to have Iguala. Family? No, we have no fat. Well, I mean, the primo segundos or tias, like hermanas de mi abuela. I think, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I have family in La Hacienda. I don't think so. No. no. What about Jalisco? Oh yeah, my mom's sisters. Uh, my mom's sister lives over there, and on top of that, my grandma has a house over there still. While my my. Guerrero grandpa, he sold the house. Oh, yeah. We have nowhere to go over there. So, <laughs> we, quick trip to Iguala to fix some things for my pops. Other than that. But you're, go, you're going to take a trip soon, no? Yeah, but we're going to Michoacan for my sister's wedding. And that's where my cuñado's from. Uh, so, are you going to claim Jalisco? <laughs> you're going <laughs> to come in with a hat. This is Jalisco. Nope. <laughs> it's gonna, gonna get shot is it going to say Mencho? It's going to say, <laughs> I'm from Chicago. It's going to say Chi-Town. Chi-Town. We can't claim Jalisco. You're not going to say JGL? Nope. Hell Guess no. what? We got you one. We're trying to get shot. <laughs> we're, we're staying at the Holiday Inn in Michoacan. We're trying to stay Americanized <laughs> as possible. Talking about the uh, yeah. JGL, you saw that video that they gave Luis Corriquez that didn't sing that song in Michoacan? No. He, he, he recorded himself really? saying that they said that. And he's like, it's a song. The people ask. They, they warned him, bro. Damn. Really? They told him that they don't be playing shit. that song in, in Michoacan. I can't, believe, I can't believe people are still doing that. Like, no, bro. So what, my getting sister. Killed? <laughs> no, no. Getting killed or what? No, no. Like talking shit about don't sing a song. Oh, you was know? he? Yeah. Bro, my sister's still getting married in, in August in La Piedad, Michoacan. And they told us, do not claim Jalisco. Really? They told us. And so our family from Jalisco can't even go to the party. The ones that are going is because they're going. O sea, se acomodaron unos para ir en, en camión. So it looks like they're tourists, but no personal cars. Yeah, yeah. Que digan placas de Jalisco. They told me, don't rent a car in Guadalajara because you're going to come into Michoacan territory with the wrong placas. It's crazy, bro. When I went to uh, Mexico about four years ago, I rented a, a carro in El Defe and I have Jalisco plates. Oh, shit. El Mencho lo, lo patrocinó, <laughs> pues. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I rented it. Viejo. I rented it in El Defe. Now, now that you're saying I have Jalisco mm -hmm. plates and I was driving around in Guerrero with that. I mean, well, whatever. I mean, I'm a tourist, though, man. Yeah, but you look straight, Guerrero, so that's yeah. what helped you. Yeah. You yeah. know, well, not me. I yo soy Guerrero. Sí, señor, yo soy Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, that's pretty much it. And all of you guys give me shit for it, but it's yeah, as we simple do. as that. I, I do. But no, well, look, man, I two podcasts no. ago, I'm like, yo tengo un amigo. Que oh, yeah, we called it, you out a couple yeah, times. I did. Uh, uh, you got an amigo que es de Guerrero, pero dice que es de Jalisco. And I and think it, my cousin it, messaged you, no? You, you, you messaged me. You no, like, Lionel. Oh, Lionel, yeah, yeah he, 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 did, he did. My he cousin did. Junior. He's like, what, oh, you're junior. I know who you're talking about. I'm like, tu primo, ah? Eh? He's like, see. <laughs> no, look, here's the thing. And now here's where I'll talk shit about those two. Because I don't okay. know about you yet. <laughs> Guerrero cuisine is way better than Jalisco cuisine. A so hundred times. Tell Ahí me. está. You don't eat cochinita, fucker. Cochinita, no, wait, you no. don't eat mole, fucker. Mo mole, ah, I do. No, no, no. Fuck so you guys. The only, the only time I eat mole is when my wife's uh, grandma comes. Okay. Man, because she makes it so good. So you guys make fun of me for all that bullshit. But you, you guys don't eat your own but fucking reason, food. Reason, 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 todo. But the only reason I don't eat, I don't eat cochinita is because I get some really bad heartburn, man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a reason why I don't. Because... Um, I mean, I know you know, and then, you, well, we all know here well, being yeah, being a kid, and every huh? every party that we had as growing up, siempre había cochinita, bro. That's so, it. that's fire. And, so did and, I. It got me tired, bro. So, you like, you like, like cochinita? Palabra. I love cochinita, bro. Like, like, and so, the thing I is, love we mole just brought verde. you some cochinita. Nah. I love mole verde. Dude, that's a piggy <laughs> joke right there. You just did a piggy <laughs> joke. <laughs> so, no, 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 no. Hey, saludos para el compa piggy, man, que no quiso venir. Me dijo que no. Hold on. Hold on. Cheers. Oh, shit, I drew a drink to my ready. <laughs> Salud. Uh, okay. No, but growing up, when my grandma would make cochinita, and it was only like four times a year, but Man, not que eres, every weekend like you guys. Ahora de que tocas más que todos aquí, fucking every party. ¿Qué se siente ser famoso, güey? <laughs> no mames. So, here's <laughs> the right? thing. Our clientele is Durango, Durango and, right? and um, Zacatecas mainly. So, it's that's, either that's asado, what... and I don't know what Zacatecas people really eat, but... I mean, it's really talking from experience, bro, they 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 have some weird stuff. Ya vas empezando con tus pizzas ratas. Saludos para la gente de Zacatecas, chingado. La gente por allá de Boca Rivera, la gente de Chacán. Saludos para los compas Noe. A mí, compa Noe. Oh, saludos para los compas de Compas Unfiltered. Saludos para los compas Unfiltered. We're going to put the video on our page. I don't know if it's on there yet. Look them up on YouTube, Spotify. Spotify. We had a little bursts. 
you know. We had a little challenge. I mean, we're, we're get we're. They had you know, a man. We're, we're, they wanted we're, to, they wanted to run a mile, pero digo, lo único que tiene que puede correr es el compa Celso. Pero no, no, we're, yeah, we're, 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 me and my compa are athletically gifted, so you know who yeah, won. We, you know, yeah. we, we won. You know, <laughs> somos macheteros de profesión. <laughs> why were they there? A, arriba la mara salvatrucha. Why, why were they there to challenge us and throw machetes at, at, at the <laughs> fucking board? You know, five feet away. No, but chi, bichi misa was saying that cada rato en el medio, boom. Yeah, yeah dude, like eh, bichi misa. Sorry, I do apologize. Que no puede ir because um. Me regañaron. <laughs> technical difficulties. I had some technical difficulties. No, but back back to it. like Back to the food. Wait. Mole, <laughs> better than pipián. That's the Jalisco, right? Birria is my favorite. I'll prefer birria over cochinita, but ahí se van dando. You what, know? About, what about bir, birria you like mole verde? versus barbacoa, the chivo? Birria. Mole yeah, verde? Birria. Uh, I'm not a fan of... Uh, uh, mole verde? I mole love, verde. I love mole verde. And I prefer tamal. pozole rojo, estilo Jalisco, oh, yeah. que pozole blanco. Chuga, de, con we lechuga, güey? We don't do lechuga. Uh, my mom oh, no, does... De Zacatecas, my My way. mom does... You, you are from Zacatecas on your other side of the family, you <laughs> motherfucker. No, I, I put repollo on my shit. I love no, repollo. My, my mom does repollo en rábanos en jalapeños. What about chicharrón? Chicharrón. 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 Yeah, chicharrón is yeah. the Jalisco, uh, the Guerrero side. Hey, bro, yeah. there's people that look at me weird when I put chicharrón on my pozole. Man. Man. Así se hacen guerrero, chingada. I do the chicharrones on the pozole rojo. You, you throw it in there? I, I like the crunch. Yeah, you throw it in there, you can hear the crack. I like the sogginess. <laughs> yeah, no, I... I the crunch. I'm hungry, bro. <laughs> Did you order the pizza already? No, no, no. <laughs> you guys are going to eat. You eat. No quieren ordenar Little Caesars, pero está bien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, I'll order. <laughs> no, 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 don't do it. <laughs> hey, luego, last time, remember I went over your house? Y que... My mom fed you? No, wey, no, no, no. Es que siempre te mando, siempre les mando estos, güey. A, a ti y a tu carnal. So, uh, once again. Saludos mis, para el compa Abel. Misael es mi uh, handyman. <laughs> I cannot change the light bulb. No, no puede. No. no. I'm like, dude, you're taller than me, wey. Like, no, I, I can't change a light bulb. I don't bulb. know how to do it. I'm I like, don't know how to fix it. I don't know what a <laughs> screw <laughs> is. The, the, the oh, actually, Phillips or, or plano. I, had, I had to order a drill for this guy because... He had like a 1920 fucking... And I wall. lost it already, bro. I really no, did. I don't yeah, know where the handle was. was. <laughs> he wanted the handles. <laughs> Misael is my handyman and my boy Chuy, the... Where's he from? Where's uh, the the Teloloapan. The Teloloapan. Oh, my, I was going to say Los Reyes. No? <laughs> my boy Chuy, the Los Reyes del Norte, he's my mechanic. If, oh, if, if it's not for those two, my house is flooding. Dude, how many times... Do, man, his basement gets clogged a lot. Twice. Sus tenants usan sí, white people. Aquí mi compa Ricky usa man wipes. Y tu cuerpezote man que yeah. tiene, que imagínate lo que tira. No, <laughs> usa, usa man wipes. Oh, it's because all the hair on his body went away. <laughs> I'm not that hairy. <laughs> But, so back to the story. Look, what I was trying to say is that siempre te mando fotos de asesina. Oh, yeah. No, fuck that. And Arrachera like, all day. You don't like asesina, though? He doesn't like asesina, güey. Nada. I don't like asesina, bro. Nada, nada. It's not that I hate it. It's just I prefer arrachera, like, I mean, real I mean, meat. But you can't... Asesina to me is like beef jerky. They're like, talking about like asesina. Yeah, it's it's like that's that carne thing. seca. Fuck hey, asesina and arrachera is two different things, güey. No, but two different if cuts. I'm going to eat that yeah. fucking... If I'm going to eat steak like that, like... But it's, it's not steak, güey. It's, it's not steak. It's res. What the fuck? But still, you But it's, it's more different. like a filete. I don't want yeah, cecina. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a filete, güey. Next, yeah. next time, we're going to have a little cookout. You to me, cecina, cecina is dog food, bro. You <laughs> put that... Oh. Oh. You put that... Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> what are you... Hey, Police? Misael. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, and this is the thing. We copy, right? Security. We, I would get to his house and he would put Cecina on for like 15 seconds on each side, yeah, right? Yeah, that's all I need. And then it, he would do the wajes and yep. he would... Not humiles, the... What's the other shit? You say what? Papalos? Huh? Papalos. Papalos, bro. Oh, my God. I fucking hate it going to that, <laughs> into that house. Bro. Nope. <laughs> Ricky. Wait, Look, you don't, you don't like papalos? Who's fucking idea do papalos, this? Bro? <laughs> I don't do papalos, bro. I like papalos. I don't do papalos. You don't, hey, you, hey, you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta try it. You we, like comiles? We're nope. gonna take them to Guerrerense, bro. Nope. Yeah. We have a whole planter in the back. No, the pal asesina. Oh, uh, yeah. tacos, tacos de asesina I'll con pinche guacamole. Oh, I've my had God. the humiles, um, the humiles salsa because my grandma didn't tell me it was humiles salsa. You gotta admit it was good though. It was a decent salsa. It was a different it, taste. Oh, yeah. So shout out to Vanna Potrillos. Uh, I just got them tacos de canasta and they love salsa de humil. But do they know? Yeah, they knew. I told them. Who, who made it? Know. Uh, all of them. No, no, who, who made it? Oh, uh, Doña Dilia. Por ahí saludos para Doña Dilia. Uh, thank it, you for, for She's for from the, the CBW, right? Yeah. yeah. She's okay. from the Pueblo de él. Yeah, so she's I'll, there. I'll send a shout out because I won one of her raffles. What did you what did Fire, you bro. What you Fire. And then... Um, what I did you want? The tortas or the tacos? The tacos. The canasta. Oh, the tacos the canasta. And my brother's stepdaughter, she she loved it too. And she said, I want those tacos de canasta again. Good, Was, man. Did, good. did you get the tacos de chicharrón también? The chicharrón yeah. and the mole is fire, bro. Yeah. 
And she does I a sweet like, mole, which I'm not a fan of sweet mole, but her mole is me fire. Hungry. Damn, but this, <laughs> I guess this episode is about food now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but no, 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 no. <laughs> no, but uh, I told her, like, because she had family, she like, oh, me acaban de llegar. I'm like, oh, me hace una, una salsa. Dude, I told you guys, like, esa, because they always bother me. Hey, ¿cuándo vas a traer una salsa de jumil? ¿Cuándo? And I'm like, all right. So I brought it. And I'm like, esa salsa de jumil, esa es regular. And they're like, no, pues vamos a probar. And they fucking loved it. ¿Did se acabó? No se acabó porque she did a lot. And I took some home, but they were, they were like fucking it. Es que it has nice. a different flavor. It has a different kick to it. I like, still can't get over the fact that you eat humiles, but you only fucking, fucking love cochinita, them, bro. bro. I mean, I, I, I love humiles. I love papalos. Um, cochinita, I probably got to eat it like once a year. That's about it. I but just get heartburn. I, I, I don't it. get heartburn, Alka but sister. I love it. Yeah, but... Tums. What you say? Tom's. 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 Green. Everybody's like looking at their poop and shit. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, yeah, no. Like I said, you know, Guerrero cuisine, way better than Jalisco, you know. And growing hey, up. Whenever you're around Chicago, you should visit um, Guerrerense. Oh, like Guerrerense no, on Grand. Dude, my mom is from Jalisco. We go to, um, uh, what's it called on uh, Grand in uh, Austin? No, not Grand in Austin. No. Well, that's the one they're probably talking about. No, 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 no. The we go get our cochinita from there. On it's in front of the Congress Pizza, the new Congress Pizza. Are, this new Congress Pizza? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know this. Oh shit, bro! I need this info. I need yeah. this four one one. Because I used to go to the, I used to go to the one on Milwaukee. Wa- Guanajuato on the north side, on Belmont. the north by Steinmetz. Belmont. No, it's not Belmont. One antes Addison. De, antes de la Belmont. Antes. Addison. Diversity. No. Diversity. Yeah, diversity oh. in Austin. There's a Congress Pizza. That's where we get our pizza from. Oh, oh okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But in front of Congress, yeah, I está Los Sauces. Los Sauces, Oh, yep. yeah, yeah, my, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, you're right. so my, mi suegra gets the asesina from there, way. We get our tamales get from a, there, get, and we get Try a coch- pound, wait. Just try fucking, fucking pound. We get our way. cochinita from there, and when we get cochinita from there, we get like 10 pounds minimum. But you need to get asesina. No, I'm sure. <laughs> so, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, so I, so is it, is, I mean, I don't mean to put them on the spot. Is that cochinita better than Doña Goyas? Bro. Pues nunca he ido. Ya también tiene su sazón. Tata, I never had I mean, doña, I goyas. doña goyas. Is good, bro. But and, the and I'm not a big, from... I'm not a big cochinita fan, but I ate her. her I like it que le echa carne, you know. You know, oh, getting a lot of chile. Salsa does too. Come in. Yeah. I mean, but she had that authentic taste and shit, you know. And so when my grandma was alive, the my Guerrero grandma, uh, when she didn't want to cook it, we would get it from Los Salsas. Okay. So my whole, uh, my I gotta try my, this. I never been there. I've seen it, but I never. Well, well, that's when my suegra buys the asesino, Like, oh shit. That's the only spot, like. I, it's good? My parents yeah, it's go, good. well, I don't know if the store's still open. We used to call it Luciano's. It's like on Cornell. Oh, yes, on Cornell. Like yes. That's like every Guerrero people yes. used to go. It's like I a little know. small, yeah. shitty looking spot, but, but they had bro, the best asesina. That's hood hood, though. Yeah. If you go there. Ahorita ya no. Ahorita ya, 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 pero. And, um, I, I grew up around that. I don't know too much about Celso, and now that you say you grew up. Like, we grew up on Evergreen and Spalding. Oh, he grew, he so, grew up on, where'd you grow up? Yo, uh, in La Cortland. On Cortland. Cortland one. Y Wapansky, I want to say. Okay, so yeah. They were the same, bro. And then, I, I, I know I, I, I grew up in a house que estaba la Homer antes, and then that house burned down. Y de ahí nos fuimos a la Cortland. So we were always there. Y de ahí me fui para Palat, no, on Central Park and Armitage. So oh, my first that. memories are Whipple and Wabanzia. You went to Funston? And then yeah. we went Ew. to... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh, yeah, that's, on, uh, that's on what? On Armitage, no? And, yeah. And Central Park? Armitage yeah. Central Park. Yeah. Yeah. I went to Stowe School, bro. The best so school all Guerrero was in uh, Humboldt Park at one point. Yeah. yeah. Well, so I was, I was, I was in, in este, yeah, Logan, Logan Square. Yeah, yeah, Logan Square. And Logan so Square. my grandpa would do a lot of the violets on the second floor. I don't remember what the fuck it's called. The church? Dorado? On North Avenue? No, 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 no. On the second floor by the fucking... The angel or whatever. Oh, oh it, it see, Logan Square. Logan Square. Square. Yeah, Logan. Oh, that's where you got married. Yeah, that's where I got married. My, so my grandpa would do bailes there, and then he would do... Um, two of my tias got married there. Yeah, everybody, everybody from Guerrero. That place is there. huge, though. It, stu- stupid huge. It's and then, people. Then yeah. Mixer. But like, cuando vi la Mixer, cuando me dieron el sonido. Oh, now they have... Mixer was huge. Now they have, like... A digital? No, no. Sound. Así, de la casa. Yeah. That's Before what you had to take your own stuff. I haven't yeah. been there since I got married, so I don't
But it's funny because when I tell people I'm from Humboldt Park or Logan Square, they're like, oh, it's Potoro. I'm like, no. <laughs> I know. And so that's Not the same. Guerrero people grew up around there, man. And that's the same thing. Pasteles and all that bullshit. Like, I, I, I love Puerto Rican that. food, bro. Arroz, that con, arroz con habichuelas so and all you, that bullshit. So you be going you know? to uh, right there on, on Logan and shit? Like the, I be going to the food trucks the food to trucks, get my... Yeah, yeah. Uh, There's a food truck? Yeah, they're, no, they're food trucks. Uh, I, I, in the parque. I, I go to the food truck Avenue, in front of the... Nor, uh, North the, Avenue, oh, California. Okay, okay. Oh, the, but, la, the lavanderia. Oh, yeah, Humble yeah, Park. Yeah. No, bro, for my Puerto Rican food, I go for... I, for I, uh, I go to Ponce on North Avenue and Central Park. I think that's okay. closer, you it's, know? It's like a little small I park. know the name, but I've never been there. I would go to the food trucks for my Acapurria and all that bullshit. No, I get the whole... Papa Rellena. Uh, plate and everything. Tienes como un jibarito, güey. Bro, it's good. You know, you, you know you like jibaritos with cheese? I do. So Ricky, back to the back on track, bro. Back to so, the music. Back to the music. <laughs> back to the music. I think we, yeah, I think we talked too much about hungry. food. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so 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 at one point, like you decided to do the 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 whole uh, insurance agent thing because not only. Well, let's finish your music career. How did you end up in? Uh, so we're North... gonna jump all over the place. So because you you because you were in Duranguense, right? Duranguense, and then I would come on the bus and whatever. Then I went to Aguilillas. Then I went to Cupido. I did three years in Cupido, and then at Cupido. I did. Yeah, Pido was Duranguense. One Duranguense, point. three years. And from there. Is that after or before Luis Moreno? After Luis Moreno. Uh, he had just left like um, about a month or two. So you still had the yellow van? Uh, no, no, no. Luis took the yellow van. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever see the van? Yeah. He had the logo of Luis. He had the photo of his shadow of Luis. Yeah. yeah. Right? You never saw the van, Celso? Luis, your singer. Yeah. yeah. He was, he was like, no, he was the singer, but. He got out two months before I joined. So it was Luis Moreno y su banda Cupido. And then when he got out, it was just banda Cupido. Oh. But, okay. but he, they had like a yellow van. And Luis took it. And, and on, the, on the window, there was like a shadow of Luis así acostado like this. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> bien sexy. Yeah, bien sexy. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Oh, remember, I still remember it. So yeah, I did three years with Banda Cupido. That ended. I took like my, a little two-month break. And then I jumped into the Norteño sex scene. Is that what you went with Simbolo? With Simbolo. And then I did about seven, eight years with Simbolo. Oh, shit. Damn. I didn't even know you were there that long. I, I was there. No, oh, shit. You know what? I missed. I, I did Extraviados for like two or three years. He missed Frecuencia for like two months. I missed Frecuencia <laughs> for like six months, which is where I officially met you two, but yeah. I knew of you guys. And so the reason why I met you three but was... You forgot the rock part. You were doing rock and roll at one point. For like a month. No, brother, for like brother, a week. He was my brother's drummer in rock and roll. They were I tried together. it. I tried it, but it, it wasn't for you. No. So here's the thing. He's like, I didn't like the part when they broke a uh, chair in my back, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You ever seen that video when the guitar player is a peleco del drummer? <laughs> so I did Extraviados for like six months and I got out, right? And then my friend tells me about the rock, like, you want to try it? And I'm like, cool, fuck it. I'll try it, you know? And it's not so much that I didn't like the music. I like the music. Uh, I'm a pop punk y todo eso. I go to the concerts, Riot Fest, todo eso. You go I to Riot it. Fest? I, me and my sister go to Riot yeah. Fest. My cousins go. Do you do Mashi? No, or? but my sister does now. Oh, yeah? So the thing is... Like they do a circle. And they just throw elbows. Yeah. So they're like, se as if like separated, and then when the music starts, they just go... Yeah. 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 So I was always in charge of my sister, so I would always like block her, right? Yeah. So that's why I never did it, and I don't think I would do it anyways. But so I like I like the music, and um, my boy's like, you want to try it? I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, oh yeah, we just went to Michigan, and they gave us a, a case of beer and like a hot dog. And yeah. I'm like, I get paid at that point. I was like, I get paid fifty dollars an hour. Like, why the fuck would I do this for a hot dog in a case of beer? <laughs> Budweiser. <laughs> That's the thing, bro. Um, I, I always no, tell, I was, tell my brother. What was the thirty light, pack? Man. The thirty pack. I, uh, thirty thirty pack. Uh, thirty case chase. American That's, Light or something. No, like it was like Bush House or something. <laughs> Ice House. I always Bush tell my brother. <laughs> my brother's like they're big rock and roll guys, right? So I always tell him like. Yeah, it's cool what you guys do, but no hay dinero. Like, I'm used to Nothing. getting paid, you know? Like, they go for free, la chingada. And, like, I, I think in ese, in ese genre, uh, genre um, you got to, like, really, like, hit it in order for you to make money. If not, you There's no money in that shit. They're not, much... Because they're not playing quinceañeras and bodas. Yeah. Like, you could be the worst band in the world, but at least in Mexican music, you have a quinceañera or a boda. I'm, get, You're gonna I'm guessing money. they get paid in festivals, though, right? They don't or, get paid uh, shit. Not, not even festivals? Nada. No. They get paid a fucking hot dog and a handshake. <laughs> Thank you for coming. You guys want some hot dogs? Here's your talk, hot dogs. And here's your, your share on You Facebook want some nachos? Now. No, and so that's the thing. So then um, 
the reason why I met all three of you is because of Abel Perez. Yeah. I was in Extraviados and then he, um, for like six months. And then and he, he was, called, he, uh, uh, he was still in there, you know? Oh, uh, no, he was out. He was out. And then he's like, hey, Frequencia what about his brother? for a drummer. What about his brother? Was he still in there? Después. Después. So I joined you guys with Frequencia for like six months. Yeah, we, we were like, ya estamos at the end. T towards the end. Yeah. And I joined you guys for like six months and then. Ya estaba calvo, calvo. Sí. Yeah. <laughs> and so I would, I remember. I we think went, Nacho wasn't even in there no more. No, it was, it was just him. I was singing, bro. It yeah. was oh, him. That's when I oh, yeah. barely started singing and I, and I would get some, I still get fucking nervous, but um. Your hair uh, started going back. Yeah, yeah, I was really bad. I was, I had a bald fade. No, it it's was actually a video where you're playing. Yeah, no. Uh, um, 500 balazos. Ojitos, the, oh, yeah, ojitos yeah. recorded it. I remember yeah. that. It's, it's on YouTube. And you guys pollo. Are curious? Pollo. Look yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, Frequencia Galentana on YouTube, uh, and you see Ricky there playing the drums, and um, me and Mister singing. And I, re I remember I came from like work, so I was still wearing like my blue dress up shirt and all that <laughs> stuff. But yeah. yeah, no. So it was uh, Faustino singing. So it was towards the end of Frequencia, and then. I don't know if it was like Christmas break or something came up, right? So we took a break, and I remember I was calling Misael. I'm like, hey, are we coming back? Are we coming back? He's like, yeah, give it another month. Give it another month. And then all of a sudden, he's like, nah, I think Faustino's done. And then all of a sudden, I call Faustino. Faustino's like, nah, bro, I'm taking a break. So that's at that, that point is when I go back to El Sanoviados. three months. Three months. Three months. That's three when you months. went to Valle Verde, no? Uh, Agaveña. Agaveña. Yeah, you guys went to Agaveña. I went to Extraviados. I did another year, year and a half there, and then I went to the Norteño Saxing. Con, con Simbolo. Con Simbolo. Yeah, so I did about a year and a half there. Don't forget your weekend with the um, Adrenalina. And I want to <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> no, bro, so there's a weekend, right? When I was with Extraviados, uh, I had a corporate outing, and I called Gio Maciso, who was your guest. I'm like, hey, because Gio was a drummer when I quit a couple times in yeah. Extraviados. I'm like, hey, can you cover me? He's like, well, he I can said a couple of times. That means he's toxic. <laughs> <laughs> so Gio's like, I'll cover you, but you need to play with uh, Adrenalina. And at that point, I ha I had already met you guys. I yeah. would I would always ask for. I was in there. Metal, was I yeah. No, yeah. no, it was just the clados. It was, yeah, it was two my clados. My brother Abel. Oh, so you were in the drums then, not the tarolas. No, 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 no yeah, drums. Was in the drums. Drums. Yeah. So I remember I practiced with Celso, and you were living in Humboldt Park, right? No, nah, I was in Logan Square. Logan uh, Square yeah. somewhere. I, it Jimenez, was a basement. Yeah. Yeah, Logan, but both Fullerton, no? Yeah, Fullerton and uh, Pulaski. Yeah. Yeah. So it baby. was me, your brother, Celso, and Pollo. It was us four. Yeah. And we went to some Guerrerense. Uh, Slash, no, nah, it, was, uh, it wasn't a Guerrerense. It was a Quebradita. Something, bro. ¿Cómo le llaman los clubs? It was a club, club yeah. party. Like but it was just us four, Sario. bro. And yeah. we, had, we tore it down. Yeah. We had fun, bro. And mind you, we only practiced once. And, <laughs> and I knew their songs from. <laughs> like, ¿Cómo se llama la canción? Uh, Did you play la canción de. La Queta? La Queta? No. No, no necesitas sacarlo. Oh, yeah. Sacarlo, whatever. We still have those videos. I have them on YouTube. So, what happened was, este, um, I would see them because they would always come play at Extraviados as parties, right? So, I knew enough of their set to get away with it. And then we practiced one time, and I showed up nervous as fuck. <laughs> but, bro, that we, was fun. we threw down, bro. Yeah. For us four, we made noise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it's still one of my funnest nights. I Honestly, it's one of my funnest nights. I used to call that Adrenalina los Players de Chicago. <laughs> kind For of. Real? Yeah. Because really your brother's uh, yeah. Players. Yeah, players fan. Uh, well, uh, Pollo wanted that style, no? Mm, or was it your brother? Abel. It was, uh, no, it was more my brother. Abel wanted more like a techno banda vibe. But my brother was like, nah. You're That's when he just had gotten out of uh, MAD Saves, right? Like, Abel, yeah. And he just got when, when you guys? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that time. The so, yeah, because high. Abel and us were Frequencia for a little bit. For a little bit, yeah. So then Abel started Adrenalina, so that's when I started seeing yeah. you guys, and that's how I met Celso. Yeah. So it was that weekend where I needed Gio to cover for me. And we made noise, bro. It was, like I said, it, it was, was fun. a fun, bro. Yeah, it was fun. fun. And, um, we were super impressed after we finished. We were like, oh, shit, bro. We sounded legit as fuck. People <laughs> were like, on it. Like bro. I said, it was only us four, bro. Like, hey, so yo como it, completo. Sometimes it just takes four people to make a yeah. fucking band. It, it worked. Yeah. Yeah. And it, then it vibed. It yeah. vibed. That, that was, Cuando Ricky no se pegó, se toca bien. Toca bien. Sometimes. <laughs> hey, you know. Cuando no se cae. Wait, what do you, you know, mean? Wait, wait. What do you mean? Yo le he dicho a Piggy. Uh, I was going to say Piggy. <laughs> A Ricky oh. called you Piggy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he Ricky. He said he I'm called you, you Piggy, piggy bro. Last, la última vez, que, I think the last time I saw him playing tarolas was at uh, 
Division Tap. Oh, Division Tap. I was lit that day, bro. He played the baby shower. No, no but it? before no, that. No, 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 before yeah, that. Before that. Where, where I actually pay attention because I was already drunk. What should you play at the, the baby shower? Was it? Uh, the Bautista said baby shower. What the fuck? I'm at your about, oh, <laughs> you know something you want to tell us? What? <laughs> nah. Surprise, <laughs> mother. Nah, 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 hey, so right. number four, the Did girl, you, finally. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Did you play with Dorado or yeah. was it Show Revelación? Show Revelación. Okay. Show Revelación. And I like that. I like Tarolas. Banda is my first love, but I hate playing tarolas because i don't have the bombo and that's like my metronome hey but i was that day i was i was standing right next to the, the tarolas and i'm like and i was looking at this and I'm like, man i like how he plays i hate playing tarolas bro, bro but you sound legit man. i hate you know? it i like no but the thing is because i i like dorado i like show revelacion you know it, i it's not so much that that's where i started playing my drums but that's where you get the taroleo de Durangense. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what happened. Go back that to day. Durangense, bro. Nah. <laughs> Let's start the All Stars. Durangense All Stars. <laughs> oh, so that's another thing with these two fuckers. When they did wow. their month for two with oh, we Maciso. A, we did the Chicago tour for, with Maciso. For, for Maciso, I was their um, their trombone uh, microphone guy. <laughs> what the fuck? I he was, would come with us just for the I was their staff. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, my brother is like Raul's number one fan. Right. Raul Maciso, even though his name don't, is Abel. Don't you dare tell that to the primo because he's Raul's number one fan. Yeah, right? I think I Abelito se la mata, wey. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah, he would. He would. <laughs> so, I would tag along with Abel and I would tag along with them. But you know what's funny? They used to put us in the back, man. Like, Right? <laughs> <laughs> he used to put us way back. I thought I the drummer room. Yeah, next to the so drummer room. I remember yeah, drummer. Faustino <laughs> being his first, like, uh, like big time. He goes to me, hey, me cala el micrófono. Like, Did I? I don't remember that. <laughs> and Joaquin, I still remember that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, whatever, ha yeah. whatever happened to that salon? Did they ever make bailes no more? Yeah, bro. Yeah. ¿Cómo se llama? La Hacienda, La Hacienda de Joaquin. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I've been. It's been years. I think the last time I gone was con the I haven't yeah, never they, gone back. They don't. They don't pay much. So <laughs> Faustino gives me his trombone, done. right? He's like, "Hey, back on the microphone." I'm like, "Bro, I don't know how to fucking play trombone." He's like, "Here," <laughs> and he gives me a different boquilla, and he's like, "Try it," and I'm. <laughs> I'm just making noise, bro. For real? Then, I don't remember. Yeah, that, I remember this, and I go. I turn to my left, and I'm like, "It's good." He's like, "Yeah, that's good." And then we played over there. And Damn, then we, COVID made me forget a lot of shit. And then we played at. Uh, <laughs> We played El Patron, I think. What was it called before? Uh, uh, Club 64. No. No, Ayalas. Ayalas. Ayalas, there we go. Ayalas yeah. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, so I tagged along as their staff for like yeah. a weekend just to tag along, you know, because Abel was tagging along. Yeah. What is yeah. Abel up to? I remember Abel. Uh, we Married. went to play allá yeah. in, um, in El Rey. También. And he, he went not Abel me. Perez. Abel, my brother. Two Abels that we're what talking about Mary, in the last yeah. 10 minutes. What's his Facebook name? Este, uh, Raul Aguacate. There you go, Raul Aguacate. Saludos para Raul. <laughs> he was supposed to be here. Yeah, I don't know what happened, man. Ya, ahora que ya está casado, le pegan al güey. Antes donde quiera. Hey, where you at? I'm over here. De putazo llegaba. Right? He was like literally in front of the house. Dude, he used, <laughs> to go, he used to go to our practice all the time. He used to like just show up. I'm like, y ahora, ya. Bro, we're probably putting him in on blast right, right? now, bro. <laughs> no, I'm, trust me. If his wife hears this, she'll be like, go. Llévatelo. <laughs> <laughs> go again. Llévenselo. <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? I just got uh, one of those memory things. I think they made like a year in the wedding. I don't know. Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah, uh, yesterday. Sun, what's today? Monday? Yeah, yesterday was their anniversary. Yeah. Porque salió on my phone, you know how yeah, you get same, the memories? Yeah, same with me, yeah. yeah. I think we were taking a shot and shit. You played there. at his wedding last yeah, we year, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was fun times, man. I was lit that night. <laughs> I was lit. Sorry. Cuando, wey. Cuando, y luego dice, oh, I haven't drank in no, like months. No, so, okay, oh, so that's, the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's another thing. I was gonna be like, Every time I drink with Celso, no bullshit. It's been where, like, I try to take my breaks of drinking. So it's been like a three month, four month that, off. Bro, he's beyond bullshit, bro. If siempre que lo veo, like, he's, uh, he's drinking some shit. La otra vez we, um, last time we were away. drinking together, cuando vimos a. Um, where was it? I had an Elgin. Baptism? Yeah, an wait, Elgin. no mames. I saw you took a little baby <laughs> shot. No, that guy's going to be conmigo. Baby. Hey, you know, no, I was going to tell you about your birthday at Ellis. Oh, Rub it in your arms. Yeah, no. <laughs> you had you had to leave your truck there. My 30th birthday, bro, at Ella's tocó saxteño. Why do I have two cups? No, no, I was going to un poquito más. Let's go. Empeza tu compadre, güey. Just a little bit, just a little bit. That's it, this is. I got to drive. So do I. Wait, I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wait, what? So, oh, yeah, it was, it was your birthday. It, it was my 30th birthday at, uh, play, at we, Ella's. At Ella's. Y estaba sentido ese día, and I don't know if you guys know ¿De this. ¿De dónde? <laughs> <laughs> Culo. I mean, you went to see Boss that year, so you know you. you I, I haven't seen it yet, oh, you oh, dick. I thought he came out. <laughs> no, I thought you and Bash. Oh, no, wait, you're from Jalisco. I, I thought you and Bash was gonna go see the movie. No, I wish. Hi, Bash. <laughs> All right, salud. Salud, welcome to Bash. También Jalisco, bueno. Yeah. Uh, de la vía. He's actually related to me. Nah. Like my grandma. 
Ay, qué bueno. This is going to be done by this. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, not, not even, compa. This shit is good, man. No. So, hey, we, should have a, we should have go. a challenge with compas unfiltered. Who, who finishes a bottle of mezcal? Yeah. yeah. That would be a good challenge. I mean, compa Noel, no, compa Checo. So, every who, time. Who passes out first, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the judge. Right. Nah, nah, okay. you, you every time. Um, more. Nah. Every time I see Saxteño, what's the song I ask for? Oh, la de. Llorando mal. No, 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 no. No, no, no. La de me gusta verme en casa. Every time I see Faustino. Uh, se llama, uh, ¿Qué, ¿Qué culpa tengo? ¿Do you guys play? We do, pero... No, but antes nos pedías no pedía la de Ojitos Verdes. Bro. Ojitos... Yeah, that's a different story. Don't go there. No, but... <laughs> el desquite, güey. El desquite. El desquite. So, hey, oh. desquite. Every time I see them, it's... No, you ask for Caminante, güey. What the hell? No. Pues la canta un caminante. pinche vocesona. Right. Como el caminante o la farsante. He asked for... Oh, no, el, el desquite es my jam. Meo. El desquite es my jam. Es la banda bonita. Le digo, bonita. when we're on stage, he says, hey, wait, no, he texts me. We're at Mariela's in the last time. Mariela's at Division at my brother's wedding. Le digo, Joe, Joe, desquite, güey. No sé. He already knows it's beautiful. Llorando, it's llorando don't practice, Mares, don't siempre se las pido, güey. Llorando Mares, que se la echan. That's a bad ass song, bro. No, nunca se la echan. Se la echan. Three times, like, Misa. Llorando Mares. Hey, I'm going to hire you para que veas the cameraman. Okay. I know. Le va a hacer competencia el Joey. Oh, break, break. Saludos para Joey Films. Saludos para Joey. Saludos para Joey. They play el desquite and I gotta get drunk, you know? There you go. So yeah, that day from your birthday. I asked for el desquite and bro, I do not remember dancing. I do not remember shit. He does not remember crying, though. I have a video. I didn't know that I have it still. I have it on my phone. I have it on my phone. And so that's the thing with Piggy. That day, me quitaron las llaves, Saúl. We had to, wey, porque he was going to drive. His truck was right in front. They go, no, wey. No, and so, what, I, what, what, Saúl, their singer, the Saxteño, shout out to uh, Chinacates. Chinacates Durango, yeah. He comes up to me and he's like, hey, Ricky, estás muy joven para un DUI or something like that. Yeah. And when Saúl talks to you, you're like, uh, yes, dad. It's like, yes, dad. You, you have yeah. to listen. Like, yeah, because él, él es de usted. There's no way con él, no, he, like. He was a teacher in Mexico, so he has that, like. That form, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, you know what? You're so right. He fucks with your conscience. <laughs> it's not so much no, that. No, no. It's just you respect the fuck out of yeah. him, no matter what he says. But he wasn't. He was like this. I see todo like he couldn't stand straight at all. And I, and I still todo Ricky pues. Todo Ricky, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I remember I showed him my phone, trying to show him like I got an Uber. He's like, pero primo, no lo has ordenado. I'm like, I'm trying to fake it, right? <laughs> the phone was backwards. He was like, no, <laughs> it was upside down. And so shit. when he <laughs> one eye closed and shit. When he caught me with that, I'm like, you know what? Yeah. But the funny part, I recorded this. He was standing like that. He was on his phone. And he, and he throws up on his shoe. Uh, Wait, my, at boots, at my boots. Yeah, at Ella's, Ella's, right? Right in front. Right in front. But no, it was my 30th birthday. And, and I'm, I'm like, like and inside then P Ellis? No, no outside, oh. outside. It was the end of the night. So then Piggy's like, yeah, yeah, let me get your keys, man. Let me, let so let Piggy took my tr truck and... Piggy. And here, yeah. <laughs> so, and no, okay, here's so the thing. Here, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. I had left three super donuts in my cup holders. And when I, I love up, super donuts. When I picked up my truck the next day, They're all three super donuts were there. I'm like, Piggy, si es un amigo, porque no tocó mis super donuts. I them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> They're full of protein, supposedly. <laughs> but Put yeah, them in the no. dashboard for a little couple minutes. Time. No, but they, it was that day, porque Saúl no me regañó, pero like. Yeah. But you, and at that you point, you already had played with him, right? No, I, I, I don't remember that. Oh, Bro, yeah. oh, no. So that, that's the same day my mom was blowing up my phone. Donde estás, donde estás. It was my 30th birthday. I woke up on the front lawn. No, my man. Yeah, because the Uber dropped. The Uber. Yeah. The, I actually pulled that one off on um, Thursday. What did, nah. you, what did you pull off? Este, que me quedo dormido afuera. Este. No wonder you didn't go. No, but you don't live yeah. in the hood. I live in the hood. Oh, no, wait. Like, I was, I was bad. Oh, wait. You were living over there by your house, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He woke up with, so, with, with his pants down. <laughs> Allá en esa I, área no duermen, güey. No, mames. No, so I have like seven or eight stairs, and then I have the. Wait, where do you live by? Uh, Cicero and Jackson. Ahí matan por de gracia. Allá por donde vive mi primo. No, so... Oh, por ahí vive su compadre, ¿no? Ah. Oh, sí. So I went up the oh, stairs, tú, 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 and you know how I have that little... Vecino, you fucking really I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, oh, shit. I have that brick wall, so I made it past the brick wall, and I fell asleep behind it. So at least you were behind the... I was behind it. Nobody could see me no sleeping. No, oh, I don't know. There was gunshot. No, no, <laughs> but gonna, he wakes no up. There's gonna got me. He wakes up. There's red tape around him. <laughs> no, but because I didn't answer, my mom started calling Abel, like, hey, ¿dónde está tu hermano? ¿Dónde está tu hermano? So Abel finally gets home at like four in the morning, 
and he finds me sleeping outside. Oh, so Abel brings me inside and tells my mom, mira, aquí está. So I remember. Oh, he's a good brother. I wish I had a good I brought brother him like home. That. I brought him <laughs> home. You were outside the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for him. But you got también. So yeah, no. A, a, my Wait, phone was. So how you get home though? Uber. Uber? Yeah. But then you just dropped your ass off or what? So I remember getting out of the Uber. I do not remember walking to oh, my damn. house. Shit. And damn. then so I guess like my subconscious knew enough to fall asleep behind the wall. It's come on like a little dog waiting. You know, he knows the way home. <laughs> and I made it, bro. <laughs> You're I'm sorry, Regan. You're good. Yeah, my Scott is hitting there. So then my it's hitting, right? My brother, there, no, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Not me. I, mean, I can feel hey, that shit. I, I can feel that <laughs> shit. I'll break a cup in uh, about two minutes. <laughs> but no, so my, Abel takes me inside and I fell asleep on the couch, on the single couch, just like that. And then my mom bitched me out for my 30th birthday, so. Hey, you're 30, man. You gotta that enjoy was, it, you know? That was my 30th birthday and then I got a text message the next day. Do you, hey. have, a, do you have a ribbon that said 30, 30? No, I didn't. So that's why it estaba sentido because my brother and my When's sister. When's your birthday? With? September twenty second. Oh, oh yeah, you share a birthday with my wife. Yeah, with your wife, me and your wife. You know what's crazy? When cuando juega games este way, the the rapper games. Oh, they mean like twenty two. He'll play twenty two, and then I tell my wife, "Ya ves, fucking Ricky won. You should have played twenty two. Yeah, because uh, we we share a birthday. Wait, why do you and Bash play twenty two también? No, I play 22 and or I play two. But, but Rafa gets mad because he plays two. He wins a lot, too. But when you do games that are only one through 20, then I'll play two. And then Rafa's like, why you got to take my number? Shut up, Rafa. What What about Bash? How come he plays 22 and two? I mean, no, Rafa doesn't play 22. I mean, I'm sorry, Bash. I mean, Bash. You just said the name twice. No, he, said, he said Rafa, right? No, you, but he said Bash. I'm sorry, Bash. Yeah. Bash doesn't play 22. He does. No, he doesn't. He plays like 13 and shit. I'll like look that. at her again. Bro. Yeah, bro. Uh, I only got three numbers I play. I play 22 or two. Four, I only four, play six. Seven, nine. Four, Sometimes seven, nine. 13, but that's very rare. I only play six. That's all I play. Six, six, six. That's all. But lately, you be ripping me off. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that $100 oh, one, you got me good. I found the video. I found the video. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I will. You gotta send it to me, bro. Uh, but you gotta look at his face. Look at his face. Hold on. I'm good, bro. I'm good. <laughs> uh, like, I said, I, what's his face? What's his face? We're, oh shit! <laughs> You're gonna have to send that to me. No, and <laughs> <laughs> I blame. Um, oh yes. I blame Tony that they bro, from Ma Ma Mariela. Yes. I know what you're talking about, you dick, <laughs> bro. So. <laughs> Son Say it, bitch. Son Don't no, be a little. No, no. <laughs> Son, Son primos, <laughs> creo. No, but I remember because uh, Tony de Mariela, he's like, it's your birthday? Let me give you some shots. And it was um, 1800 Cristalino. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was good. Wait a minute. We got a bottle. Right we, here. we got a bottle coming up. Right? No, no, no mames. Surprise, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> no, and so my brother and my sister were supposed to go from, it was my 30th birthday, right? And Abel only went for like 30 minutes and my sister didn't show up. So I was pissed off. So I'm like, fuck that, let me keep drinking, let me keep drinking. Y ahí valió dick. And then llegó Saxteño, and you drank a couple of shots with I me. I had a drive, though. I, I, some, I mean, I, drew, I live like... Yeah, but you drank a couple of shots before yeah. you guys started playing with me. Bro, you I live used, around the corner from me. Yeah, what the I fuck do you live mean? No, I, I, live then, in Bell, I live in Bellwood, para los que no saben. What was it like? A, <laughs> a month ago, me and you got, were at uh, Mariela's together, right? Like a month ago? A oh, month? No, we were in La Sierra, we. No, no, no. Uh, I know we were oh, at La, no, yeah, La Sierra yeah. like two weeks ago. Los Héroes tocaron. Yeah, it was about and, a month ago. And yeah. it was me and you and I had to drive Piggy home. And Piggy was oh, all yeah, fucked I remember that up. Day. Yep, yep. Yeah. I remember I remember that day. <laughs> he, he asked me, he's like, hey, can you drive Piggy home? I'm like, yeah, not knowing it was going to be the worst mistake ever. <laughs> hey, de mi compa Piggy nos está hablando, güey. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro. He saved your life, bro. He took your keys. No, away. That, exactly what he said. I did. And then we're driving home, and he decides to play Braceros. And I like Braceros. My, my homie Chepe, you know, passed away. Yeah. And Piggy gets all sentimental with it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. He's like, never like one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so uh, let's, go, let's jump back in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in, we almost. So you went from uh, Cupido to extraviados, extraviados, you went to Simbolo, you were there eight to seven years. Seven, eight years, yeah. So what year was it? No, I, I, yo según me iba a ser cantante de Norteño. I don't even remember, but it had to be in like 2014, 16, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you came and you sang a Primavera song with us. I, I can't like remember. Fucking hour, you made me sing like an hour, dude. Like, you wanted on. to try? They told me no. Way. I didn't. I didn't know they told me, but. <laughs> I didn't. I mean, at the end, I didn't go. They told you no? 
Who took it, it down? It w- in, no. Ricky, so, basically? It was no. Ricky and Foe. Like, no. Gonna... It was Foe there when I went? No, right? Uh, I don't remember. It was, I think so. He was? I don't, I don't, re- think I don't, so. I don't remember. No, so Fofo, Fofo, me, we all wanted you, but there was a guy that said no, and he had a little too much influence on the brothers. Mm. So what they, guy? Uh, you know who he is, right? Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. Who? A ver. I have no let idea. Me, let me find him on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> he had a little too much influence on the brothers, and I'm I like, I want him to say, bro. I, I want him. He's like, you just want him because he's your best friend. I'm like, that, but he's a good singer, too. He is. So, yes, 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 I'm yes. all right. I like how you, you know. Sing. You know what little, you know what's Me, funny? Right. I'm I'm here, una, <laughs> little, uh, anecdota? No, just a little info. Me and my compadre started singing with his dad's band back in the day. Oh, yeah, back in the day. We, always, we, always we practiced one at your dad's garage. With, with dad's garage. Is that why you guys show? sound like Banda MS? <laughs> no, no man. Dude, I think Banda MS you guys ba- seriously been on that. Banda yeah. MS was barely coming out in that time. Yeah. When we hey, let me tell you, my guys in, in our group, in Arroyero, in the, the following weekend after the baptism, they're like, yeah. oh, Misa and Boogie. Oh, Faustino. Dude, Dale. that was the, actually, we haven't sang together in years. Since his dad's party. Yeah. So no. esta vez, esta vez que, que you guys saying um, that they también in an Evil's party con el Cirreño. Oh yeah, but no, they were not. Oh, but that's a, different. They were not following the tunnels. Oh, sí, pero I was yeah. still watching. Estaba con, estaba con los cinco trucos. No, but we haven't. We haven't chingo way de la bada y todo. We haven't. Oh, and here's the thing: <laughs> we haven't sing together in years. We hasta yeah. not even con when, banda. Like I'll time. tell you, be, when ch- when you started singing, Misael started singing Chavelos. Like which one? Uh, and Chavelo will be picky. Very Chavelo crazy. was very impressed with you. Like, Como dice, compa, que, like, like you can take Faustino's job if you want it. Nah, like, I'm pretty sure, even. bro. Can I can't it. sing like Farsante, man. I'm sorry. You, you can take it. No, I can't sing the Farsante. I recorded the shit out of that song. <laughs> Thanks, that, was, that was an awesome video. Hey, Faustino, how many times have I been like a bother to you at, at Bailes? La right. Farsante, El Caminante, Ojitos said, Verdes. They, they really know you, know, he, you know what surprised me? My compadre, when he was singing to La Comadre. Oh, yeah, son and compadres. He was, yeah, son compadres. When he was singing. And I knew the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> the lyrics. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I can't do that. So, <laughs> so <laughs> goals. Yeah. That, like so, you remember his. I don't remember if Celso, Celso was there. I'll be dancing. Celso, just hold the phone right here. <laughs> I got you good. <laughs> Riso, were you there? Was he? He wasn't there that time we got trashed at your one of your parties, right? No, uh, I did. We, we, he, he we always get yeah. trashed. But no, people to me, he got trashed. We temprano, he we always eats early. So you <laughs> missed no, it. No, ese día me, me fui a basquear al parking lot, bro. Bro, <laughs> no. So we, ha- me and Faustino have a group chat with Rafa, Bash, oh, yeah. Steve. Uh, que se hablan muy bonito. There's, there's no. two group chats. No, <laughs> there's two. Hey, he don't Who got he, kicked out? <laughs> no, uh, we had to make one. We had to make one for Manny and one for Steve. Whatever. But um, Damn. somebody got kicked out. Uh, they modified some, both of them. We modified it. Para que no se digan tan bonito, pues. But in in this group chat, everything is limit. It's on limit, bro. I used to have like, uh, like taking shots on your kids, taking shots on your wife, like your mom, like there is, and it's especially Rafa I mean, there's and Faustino. No limits. Yeah, it's Faust, it's Faust and Rafa, it, honestly. <laughs> Rafa, <laughs> Rafa from uh, Sangre Norteña. They're, they're the, that's why you have them on the chair. <laughs> it's them too. We but it's a, hey, we should, bring, we should bring Rafa, actually. But it's especially specifically... About the, especially about we should, the socks. Hey, we should bring Rafa and Richie. Richie yeah. Yeah. It, but it's specifically Rafa who mm. takes shots like... But you notice Richie and Rafa are like two different people. And shit. Like, <laughs> uh, I, I have some stories back in the day where Richie used to tell me about Rafa, but you know, we'll leave that to the podcast. Well, please... <laughs> So, but no, so that day it was, it was a baby shower, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was a baby shower, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's a, there's a, 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 a video on live. Uh, he, remembers, he remembers, he remembers when he was in the salon, but no, he was, yeah. Faustino was singing, that's when he was with Escandalona. Was that at the, was that at the L? At the L? Don't park. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And so what happened was they left me in charge of the alcohol. So... I started them all with Bucanas, I want to say, right? And the Bucanas bottles finished. Like, that's how much we were Those drinking. And it was a Sunday, bro. Mind you, it was a Sunday. His parties are always on Sundays. Yeah, because <laughs> we all play. <laughs> yeah. And so we started off with the Bucanas hey, the, bottle. Ivan was there too, right? Hmm? Ivan was there too the, the, for catering? Yes, I mean, he's always been an Me acuerdo porque ese día, that was, I think that was the, one of the first times that I tried the discada. He, he's been in auto. Oh, yeah. So yeah. and the compa is like, "Hey, tiene tacos de tiscada." I'm like, "What? What is that?" She so what that. Celso doesn't know, but the other guys do because he's not part of the group chat, is that fr- 
when the Bucanas finished, I switched it to Johnny Walker. Yes. And they didn't know. And they didn't know. And so we started mixing, bro. And by the end of the night, we were fucked up. <laughs> and so Celso did. El primo no. No, es que la cosa que yo iba nomás de ratos because I was on another table. Yeah, yeah. So, the, the, so all we, these guys were like, we had them. our group. No, no, but I, I remember, but I went, but I had to leave because I had a party. But I had a tener que ir a tocar. So we had our group chat table yeah. and we were yeah. drinking and Celso would come every once yeah. in a while. Ricky would be like, vente. And I would depend on you too. And my girl's like, don't go over there. Te van a pendejar. So I saw like, oh, Ricky, what's up? What's going on? Johnny Walker. Damn. Damn. No, but hey, what? That's why you left last time? Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, there was a funny no, story. No, actually, uh, contigo, no, we. Este, I was trying to sober your ass up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Estaba con uh, Eli trying to... Uh, in the, the bautizo? Yeah, no. Yeah, the bautizo. The bautizo. The play, the, the, yeah, bautizo. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to sober him up. My wife is the eight. And then you gotta sit down. I was trying to sober myself up. Hey, you, so you I was using chela. him as an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> luego me decía, oh, get him some water. So, en lo que estaba Eli le daba agua, me decía, tenía una chinche chévere, güey. Tenía una chinche chévere, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> and then I'm a fucking star chicken, we were like, fuck him. So, so, I'm dancing and your compadre comes by, he's like, Come on, Jesus. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, so, <laughs> that day he was... He was being a bitch. He was, yeah, he was chill. He was chill. But he was watching like soccer on his phone the whole night. Bro, I'm like, he looked like a little kid. Yeah, exactly. He was he was playing. Estaba su hijo. Estaba mi hijo. Estaba, estaba playing farm estaba bill. Gio, and they're all like on, on the, the phone. Phones. Playing farm bill. I don't know what the fuck they were playing, bro. I was like, farm. can you seriously stop coming, having a duel with me? Hey, but shit. we got to send a shout out to him uh, for his daughter. Oh, felicidades, compadre. Felicidades, no. compadre. Yeah, compadre. Uh, felicidades. So, ya vas a ver que no es dormir, cabrón. Ahora, ahora sí vas a ver no, lo que es changing the diaper. Oh, ya no duermo. Ya no oh. duermo. Se siente bien feo. I just, I just met her yesterday. Nice. Or Sunday. Yeah, I just met her. I just met her. So, it was the baptism, right? Yeah. And I, I don't remember if you went, and I don't think so, because it was your party. But after that, we still ended up at Alejandra's, the group oh, chat. The first time? Yeah, the mm -hmm. first time. We, at the group chat, Rafa, me, Richie, Manny, Steve, and... um. That's it, I think. We ended up at Alejandra's and we still got more lit, right? So the next time, I think it was Rafa's party and he made an invitation. Ricky is only allowed with two drinks. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you send out the invitation then he modified it or something like that. Rafa put something yeah. at the bottom. If Ricky smells like alcohol, Don't he's know, not allowed, yeah. allowed to come in. I remember that. But it was because it was not so much... I'm not an alcoholic, guys. It was yes, you are. <laughs> Everybody is an alcoholic since they're not an alcoholic. It I'm was more because I was the one You're feeding you guys. You're in denial right now, bro. <laughs> so that's what happened that day. But it was honestly a great fucking time. One of my favorite nights with, with the boys, right? Yeah, yeah. And like I said, that's a group chat where it, Rafa will start to work at 5 in the morning, whatever the fuck it is. That group chat starts at 5 in the morning talking yeah, he, shit. He has to be at Tony's making the pyramids in the fruit and talk about Our chat starts at, what, at 8, 9? Yeah, you guys are like fucking nine. nine. I, guess I, mañana, hey, I want to send a shout out to my compadre. He woke me up this morning. Aww. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I just woke up. <laughs> it was like nine something or no, ten. I mean, not that much. <laughs> not but yeah, no. So he was like, I'm on my first break. I'm like, damn. So it's weird. And then you like, already work four hours. <laughs> you see, Mis Misael knows about that group chat that. Me and, oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Faustino like, are. He tells in. me all the time. Hey, but, let's make one. Yeah, no, no, guys, the man. thing is, Misael tells us, no aguantara porque allá I'm not, not I'm nothing, like, hey, don't add me, man, because I'm I'll fucking. Nothing me. is off limits over there, bro. Allá se te avienta todo. And it's specifically Faustino and Rafa. That. We gotta bring this you know what's funny? These guys always give uh, Rafa shit about uh, my middle child, Abraham, like marrying oh, his daughter. Oh, bro. Perfect. <laughs> and then. um. No manches, bro. And the baby shower. And the, and the and baby shower. And the baby shower. And the baby shower. I'm sorry. Um, so niña estaba ahí. Y, y Abraham will go up to her and talk to her. Bro, it was weird as hell. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Rafa and him, would, they, they're the ones that talk the most shit to each other. So we would tell Rafa how fucking coincidence oh, would it be. How coincidence would it be if his son marries your daughter y se van a llamar compadres. <laughs> right. You too, right? Hey, wouldn't that be funny, man? And so what happens that day at the baptism is that Rafa's daughter and his son start playing como si nada. And all of us are over here like laughing, bro. <laughs> I got pictures where they're just sitting next to each other. And my, my son's like talking to her. And, like, and oh. so I'm over here. I'm like, hey, Rafa, en tu boda va a haber jicaras, wey. He's like, what is that? <laughs> Because of the Guerrero shit. Los que no saben qué son las jícaras. Las jícaras. 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 So you guys were talking 
I, I forgot what the fuck you guys said at the beginning. He cut us for us where like the ladies throwing candy. No. There, there was one guy, one lady in the front mapeando and one lady in the back barriendo. And that's so what that I her, remember. That, is that your Guerrero side or your That's my Guerrero side. side. My yeah, for us, side I think it's like you pan carry is. el pan. Yeah, el pan. Yeah, no, ours is pan. pan. Yeah, for us, it but, was candy. But I've seen que tiran dulces yeah. también. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you yeah, have yeah. like one carrying a bread, then the next one is candy. Next yeah. one is bread. It's bread. like uh, Guerrero Chinelos. I did, I did that if at my I, wedding. You ever heard Las Decimas? Never. No. I think I have, but I don't know what it is. What is it? Same. Okay, we gotta look it up, but uh, I remember like when I was in Mexico in a wedding, they all, it's like a, como una poesía, okay. like a, like una poesía. Oh, se van tirando, todas las mujeres van diciendo algo. Y los echan, anda tirando cerveza en el piso. What's the music of the jicaras? Ah, uh, tequila. Van tirando tequila en el piso. Well, my grandma had cerveza. an they put a tape on it. My grandma had an on a cassette, bro. I don't remember the what? music. De las jicaras. Do you remember? I, I'm, the, pretty, I'm pretty sure it's still around. Do you remember the music? No, I can't I remember it right now. I remember. Yeah, I, about I, and I remember that I, almost by the end I was just biting it, throwing it out. Like, <laughs> throwing that out. <laughs> and then do it for like about 20, 30 minutes. And don't, they, like, don't they stack it on like your arms or something? No, they just bring it and you, and you gotta bite it. And yeah. You dance and then you gotta bite it and then you dance and you gotta bite it. That, that my I did it because of my wife's uh, side of the family. El, el que se sepa las décimas o un poquito para las décimas. Mándanos un inbox. Vaya, yeah, mándanos un video. Y el que yeah. tenga las jícaras en CD, por favor. Las quiere para su boda. I'm pretty sure it's on YouTube somewhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Get, Eric, so when you get married, are you going to do las jícaras? Nope. Yes, well, you stop. are. Lying, hey, we're we're going to show up and we're going to yeah, do it. We're going to show up and we're going to do it. Bro, if you guys are doing it, go for it, but nope. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to no, show My sister wants to do it at her wedding, but I don't. You gotta make it happen though, bro. She wants to do it, but I don't think my, happen, my tías bro. from Guerrero are, I don't think they're going to. You gotta make so. it happen. So you go to Michoacan or they're those muñecos. Because it's muñecos. Son muñecos. That's what yeah. they are. They're actually so little, you, little babies. So you gotta, make, you gotta make it happen, bro. You can't you can't let your sister get married without the hikaras. You gotta start it off, basically. Yeah. Dude, my sister is as dark as you and she claims Jalisco, so fuck off. No, <laughs> she, but she wants, she wants a hikara. So you gotta make it happen, bro. Her big brother has to make it happen, yeah, bro. Man, yeah, man. Yeah. Eres el mayor. Tienes yeah. que poner el ejemplo. Eres el responsable. <laughs> Espérate, le está mandando un texto a su perrito. A Michoacana, ya. Yeah. <laughs> que le sacan las muñecos. Hey, I can't believe you take your dog to... Daycare? A daycare. You know? Bro, I Price can't believe the dog is outside waiting for him. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Hey. No, he's going to get us canceled. Did you leave? Kilo. Did you leave? Um, hey, you put a note. AC is on and he's listening to the music. Kilo is at home right now. <laughs> <laughs> on my team size bed. He's good. <laughs> Damn, it's 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 he goes to, he goes to daycare tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> he goes on Tuesday, so that way he, because it takes him a while to recover, so Wednesday and Thursday. What do you mean a, a day to recover? Like, so does, your, like, does your dog tell you he needs to re recover? No, 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 it's me. Oh, you got to recover. No, no, so that way I don't have to walk him and shit. They no, take man. Care. I mean, around your neighborhood, I want to walk no, him. No, myself, no, no, I walk him but around the neighborhood. But then you probably get him into fights and shit in no, the neighborhood no, with other people. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he has, like, a, he has like a two-inch chain and shit. No, 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 no. So if I take him on Tuesday... He'll sleep Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday he's kind of back to normal, and I'll take him again Friday, so that way on Fridays I go play Friday, hey, Saturday, hey, Sunday. Hey, did he give you... ¿Qué no te regaló a Father's Day present? Always. <laughs> the daycare gives me Father, Father's Day con presents. Con la, fo con la foto del... Pues sí, todo lo que le pagas, güey. Con, con, no, con, con macaroni and shit. <laughs> it's worth it, but that's my buddy, Heart man. made out of macaroni. Honestly, bro, like... <laughs> I, I, I don't macaroni? <laughs> hey, shut up, Faustino. I wanted to call PETA on your ass for fucking burying your dog hey, in the backyard. That's the most normal thing everybody does. Okay, okay, everybody is uh, watching us or hearing us. Isn't it normal to bury your dog in your backyard? I mean, everybody that I talk to has done it. Like literally, hey, DM us. Hey, you guys remember time. remember that movie, Mi Familia? Yes. Where the guy, El California, California thing, nah, he buried his movie. people in the backyard. He he got, look, he got buried in front of the yard. What the fuck? You, you never know? seen that movie? No. Or right, you gotta watch. Whoever well, didn't you, watch it, you gotta watch it. my yard because I, I invested a lot of money. There you in go. Yard. Por eso. Yo voy a retoñar otra vez. Voy a retoñar. Voy a hacer un pasto bien verde. A fucking tree is gonna come out of it. Con con Chévez va a salir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But this is a tree. It has hey, Chévez on it. Before you die, te comes unas semillas de pagueso. De papa los. De papa los pagueso la mamá. Hey, pa so, que me tú, güey. so oh, I, I wanted I wanted to make this 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 episode a little different. So what do y'all think of what's going on in the world right now, man? Like it, it's like crazy. Big, I mean, I, elaborate. I know, you, I know you, what's I know going on. Like, well, I know especially you like to get into it. especially Spe gas prices, right? No, Damn especially it. especially with uh with the, with you, Ricky, because uh, you're in the field with insurance and all that stuff. Right? Kind of, but not really. But not, okay, like because so in the Hispanic world, 
I don't think people believe in life insurance a lot. Okay. That Elaborate be, on that. That should be another episode, but oh, I only, I'm only bringing that up because... Do you recommend it or not? I mean, yes. You can be truthful with us yes. right now. Yes. White people are still rich because of life insurance. And the more... But do you mean white people like like their, their kids or like... Yes. Uh, because life insurance is tax fucking free. Oh, and shit. Pe- and that Mexi- I didn't know. Mexicans always say, oh, ¿pa' qué le voy a dejar dinero a la, a la mujer para que se quede con el Sancho y whatever the fuck? No. Life insurance is fucking free. If you know how... Uh, tax free. If you know how to... De- um, Set the right dependency, todo eso. Like your kids start. So give us an ge- example. Generational like, income. Like so, give me an example. Like like me on my life insurance. Like, okay, look, like my look, wife look. Kids, I'm gonna right? make it this simple to you guys, especially you three being men in the house, right? Okay. You all need life insurance I'm because home, all three of you guys have kids. So I'm gonna put it th- this simple to all the men listening to the the podcast, and put it in your head. How much do you make a year? Twenty thousand. No. How much do you make a year? You got that in your head. Okay. 32,000. 22. Uno de la banda. I'm saying, put it in your head. Okay. How much do you make a year? Okay. How, how young is your youngest son or daughter? One year. You at least want them to get to 18, 20 years old, right? Yes. Multiply that, whatever they are, to get to 18 uh-huh. times whatever you make a year. Okay. That's what you need minimum in life insurance. Okay. So that way your wife can replace your income if okay. something happens to you. Okay. That's not taken into account your mortgage payments. That's not taken into account your car payments and all that. That's just to get your son or daughter Under to the feet. age of 18 to okay. 20 years old. And I think it's as low as buying a 24-pack a day, no? Or something like that? It depends. <laughs> it depends <laughs> on your health status, It depends right? on your health, but life insurance is very cheap. And that's the thing. Like, when I see GoFundMe, bro, like, okay, I get it. I, and I've donated to GoFundMe, especially to my good friends. Oh, yeah, me too. I, right? I've done it, yeah. But $20 a month for a life insurance would get you or in a $100,000 minimum. Now, can you ask a loan from that? Como dicen in TikToks? Yes, you can on What's the... What's TikTok? <laughs> you can on the whole life and universal life policies, which I got. And this is the biggest things I'll give to, I hate, I started working for State Farm at 18. I'm not the biggest fan of the first person I worked for, but she made me get a whole life policy that I paid off in 15 years. May of What's a whole life policy? You pay it off. Uh, there's a 10-year life policy, a 15-year life, or a 20 life. Depends. Obviously, the 10-year is more expensive than the 20. Right. I got a 15. I finished paying it off in 15 years. I got it at age 18. I just made my last payment May of this year. Nice. Nice. I have life insurance for the rest of my life now. Oh, right, hey, Ricky. Okay, una, una cosa que sí me pegó, like, it fucking hit me with Ricky. Uh, one time I went to your house, we, and I think, I, I, forgot, I forgot what the hell I was fixing in your house. But something. <laughs> you were something, fixing something. Was, A yes, bulb. And he said, hey, the door, the back door is open, we, pásale. Do whatever you have to do. You want to kill a mosca. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, <laughs> and he's like, "No, look, me dijo is like, hey, uh, I'll be late. I got, I'm gonna be late because I have to go drop off a check for somebody that just got killed. Oh, Life insurance. Life insurance. Wow. And I'm here, I'll like, tell you, damn, my craziest life insurance. Crazy, crazy as fuck. She, um, she had a 20 year old son, right? And she's a ER nurse or whatever the fuck at um, what's the free hospital called? Cook County. Cook County. Cook County. She's, she was a nurse at Cook De County. Del hospital de Nación, mi compadre no se está hablando, güey. Yo nací ahí, güey. Me too. For real? Yeah. Whatever. Floor she, six. She was a nurse at Cook County, right? I don't know what floor. <laughs> she was a nurse at Cook County, and her husband, uh, her... Right, we need another bottle, bro. <laughs> hey, save that bottle, though, man. That's a nice bottle. Yeah, a nice bottle. It's not plastic, it's glass. She, she, she got a call. She's an emergency room nurse, and she's getting called for scrub down. We have a patient coming in. She reads the note. It's her son. Oh, shit. And she's scrubbing down. So at that point, instead of scrubbing down, she runs upstairs to meet the fucking ambulance. And that's her son. That dead. Six shots to the head. Oh, my God. But I had to deliver the, the life insurance check. The check. Long Did you show, up, you, you show up to the house? Did you know them? It depends. Uh, she was my customer, yeah. I, I remember her name. I won't say it out loud, obviously, to, oh, yeah, per, to prevent her. Um, no bullshit. I won't even sugarcoat this. I think he was in the life. 
you guys know what I mean mm. when he was in the life. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, horses, so, doves, the open casket, like the glass, y todo eso, le salió $40,000. Oh, fuck. I gave her a check for 100000 Mind you, 100000 sounds like a lot of money, but, but the dude not. had a fucking two year old daughter. Yeah. So $60,000 now has to be spread out for the cost, the, the, yo, rest, whole, of the rest of her life. Right, right, right. Right? It's not a lot of money. And that's Especially why. Especially nowadays, you, bro. So whatever not, you well, whatever, say it in, say it in Spanish, but todos los lo que ustedes hagan ahorita si hacen 50 mil y tienen un niño de un año multiply it, uh, multiplíquelo por 20 años mínimo 20, 20 años eso es lo que necesitan de aseguranza de vida y eso no es contando con la escuela tampoco bro like That, college I'm just su, I'm supplies. just saying to get them to age 20 Yeah, at age 20, you know what? They're adults. They're going to have to figure it out yeah, on their own. Yeah, just, no más para But that's why I'm saying, mínimo necesitas eso. Si hace 50 mil por 20, whatever the fuck that is, 2 million, minimum. But fuck it, if you get $100,000, that's $100,000 that your wife, your family, your GoFundMe yeah. not doesn't have. have to worry about. Yeah. And that's why I believe in it. And on top of that, there's tax benefits. I have money there. I said it in the guac pot. Kilos give me money. Like if something, <laughs> no, if something happens to me, my sister has to take care of Kilo, you know? Yeah, yeah. Something happens to me and that's... Here's like, Kilo, I got you, bro. She like Kilo. <laughs> here's another thing. Hey, I, salió canas, man. Here's another thing I recommend. If something happens to you and... Salud. Yeah, you guys, was I the one that drank it? Fuck. No. <laughs> here's another thing I recommend. Look, 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 if something happens to you and Faust, don't don't hate me. I'm going to use you as an example. Okay. You always do, but okay. Um, your wife would most likely be your beneficiary, right? Yes. Your wife is probably going to be the less person that's going to be able to handle the situation at the time. Hopefully. <laughs> yes, make the check out to your wife, but have your wife like give that check out to somebody she trusts. That can handle it. Porque ella va a estar llorando. Ella te va a estar... Yeah. Grieving. Grieving. Oh, right, right, right. So, when I got sick last year, I was like, my mom's my beneficiary. Yeah. But I was thinking, like, if something happens to me, my mom is not going to be She's able to... She's not going to be okay. Not in the no. right status. That's how you put your sister. So, I put my sister instead. And yes, my sister's going to be grieving, but I think my sister can handle it better than my mom. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So that's up to you guys. If you guys think your wives can handle it. So, like, I, I see you talking about it. I see todo lo que estás hablando, güey. And I see that you're fucking right into it. Like, well, you, it's, it, you, I, like you like doing the insurance stuff. You're like, I like it, and I hate the GoFundMe, bro, because think about it. You should it. be prepared for that shit. It's not, it's not so much that you should be prepared. It's how much stupid shit. I don't know. Co ¿Cuánto costó el Ultra? Uh, 20 bucks. 20 right? bucks. Man, you that's what. Price. Hey, that was 20 bucks for 24 pack. That's good. He I'm going to bring another one. He knows the prices. So what does that mean? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm telling you. Uh, life insurance can be as cheap as just to care to um, take care of your burial. Yeah. So you don't have to make a GoFundMe as 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's what it hurts me when I see GoFundMe. And yeah, like I said, I'll donate. If you're my boy, I'll fucking donate. I don't want. But my $20 is not going to make a fucking big ass difference compared to your $20. For a hundred thousand dollars, yeah, in yep. the in the long run, that's a that's perfect insane. example. That's what I'm saying. So here's we need to talk after this, and that's and <laughs> that's that's why I saw it. And the thing is, like, it's the Mexican culture, bro. Like, I think that's exactly what it is. It's man. what it is. Like, por qué le voy a dar dinero para el Sancho? Fuck the Sancho. But you know what? Bullshit. You know what? It's for your kids. You know. No, look, no, look, look. It's I, I think peace our, of mind. I think what our our, our 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 raza doesn't understand is that you're paying for car car auto insurance. It's the same thing. Yeah. You know, you're paying. Go on. We like, le, le digo aquí a Celso, le digo a Piggy. I'm like, dude, just burn the fucking car away. <laughs> you know, you're paying all this money. <laughs> But I, I can fix my cars. Yeah, exactly. But that's, it's that's the same my... thing, though. It's the same thing. You're paying, you know, monthly for, you know, insurance. You know, it's going to be the same thing it's for $20, bro. As cheap as $20 for the minimum. Hey, just to fucking put it out there, Ricky, he has, uh, here there. He has, the, he has insurance for my cars. He has my house insurance. No, and so here's the thing. Like, tío, no? And I'll, I'll talk. Uh, my boy. He, he couldn't give me insurance because I had a DUI. Damn. At, at that point. But <laughs> you have if, a DUI? Yeah. If it was over five years ago, we can talk I got, now. Yeah, it's a, yeah. 
Ya, ya pasó, diez, ¿no, güey? Diez, en, diez años. Primo, para la gente que se porta bien, ¿qué es un DUI? <risa> ¿Cómo se dice ¿Cómo? en español eso, güey? ¿Cómo se dice? Un, un D-U-I. <risa> ¿Y qué quiere decir? No, en... Me agarro un pedo. En, en, so, you know my cousin Giovanni, right? He does sonido. Uh, Chacas del Terre. Yeah. That's my cousin. Oh, shit. I'll, I'll give you an ex a personal story for me. I got pulled over like three or four times, right? A la verga. Speeding, not DUI. Oh, speeding, okay. speeding. Like, wait, what? And at this point, and I'm sorry, Giovanni, si estoy poniendo tu uh, al aire, pero I'll say it. Like, he was illegal at the time. <laughs> no, no tenía licencia, mi primo Giovanni, ¿verdad? Y yo bien pendejo ahí, de, like, oh, yeah, me, la, la policía me paró. He's like, primo, ¿no sabes cuánto daría yo para tener esa licencia? Hey. Bro, when he said that to me, I shut the sí, fuck bro. up. Sí. I mean, now you, now you could. You could get a... The, a, the purple one. Yeah. But at that point, no había the... And I'm sorry, the purple one. Gente, don't yeah, judge yeah. me. I don't remember. The TVDL. Uh, but at that yeah, point, TV, he, yeah. he, he couldn't even get that one. I think it says on the top, not for identification. Not for, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. But when he told me that, bro, I'm like, man. It's yo, right, bro. Yo de pendejo. Es que hay, like, hay, hay gente que no si aprovecha. Si arriesga mucho, también. Yeah, la arriesga mucho. Yeah. Como dice mi compadre Giovanni, le juega mucho alberga. You know, like, you, you think you're unstoppable. Like, we're born raised here. ¿Qué nos van a hacer? Nos van a correr. We're, no, no nos van a hacer nada. Exactly. And that, when he put it to me like that, um, it, 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 it made me think. Pero fíjate, hay gente, mira, hay gente que me... De, yo, yo, yo he escuchado eso, pero hay gente que dice, yo que no daría por dar la licencia. Pero hay gente también que lo tiene la oportunidad de tenerlo y lo mal aprovecha también. Les dan DUI, les dan esto y les dan otro. Hay, tanto como hay gente que lo desea, hay gente que también lo mal, despre la, mal desprecia. Mal usa también. Ya, yeah, ma mal usa. So, hay un poco de do do dos mundos. Y como, como uno que anda en la musicada, yo veo el mundo de, de las dos maneras. Porque hay, sí, hay, hay países que sí, sí quieren progresar, pero hay países también que la desperdician, you know? So, I, I see it both ways y, como te digo, um, no este, siento que no... Tanto como hay países que lo aprovechan, hay países que no, que no lo van a aprovechar, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, but know? that's the same with us. Nosotros que somos nacidos o tenemos licencias legales. Yeah, I, I no was born here. Yeah. You yeah, weren't, right? No, he wasn't. Let me see your Mexican shot. No, I don't have it. Ah. Me vine muy temprano, so I didn't, I didn't, get, a, I didn't get it. You didn't get the ravi shot, no. whatever it is? <laughs> No. I actually, the, the I actually, I actually, I actually, I actually, I actually, I actually, I actually became a citizen <laughs> when, uh, cuando te regañé y te dije, vete a hacerte ciudadano. <laughs> No, uh, actually, when President Trump was doing his... Uh... Yeah, when I told you, hey, wait, Trump ya no va a te, te va a dejar ciudadano. Vete a hacerte ciudadano. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, two weeks later, yes, ciudadano, güey. Yeah, <laughs> man, I, I came right away. So, I, like I said, I... I and it, it's an easy well, process para toda la gente que está viendo. Si quieren ser ciudadano, my parents it's got easy process. My mom, for the church. Especially, mom. no, especially for, I think, seniors. Yes. Ya lo hacen, lo pones en... Mamá. Help you. Mamá, mm -hmm. ya lo, lo hice en español. Yeah. Uh, todavía fue yo de translator supuestamente no me dejaron pasar no dice este ella puede pasar sola no se preocupe and so from my dad who got here at age two if you went to high school here in the U S and you did the constitution test in Dude, high school it's the same thing no 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 no, no. if you did the constitution it, test in high school and you have transcripts you don't even have to take the test really you get your Pero, citizenship automatically but okay so the the what are you talking about constitution test I remember I remember doing it in, in middle school. And then when I started p p studying for the, the actual... people. Yeah, with <laughs> the people, exactly. When, we start, when I started studying for the actual exam, I'm like, man, this Everything is... came back. I'm like, man, this is the same thing as the damn... Yeah. But my, test, like you know? I said, my dad walked into the room and they're like, oh, you did this at Shures. My dad went to Shures. Like, ah, no did he go to RTC? Was he in RTC? No, 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 no. <laughs> my dad was a pachuco. <laughs> oh! Contra <laughs> usted. He's like, let me put it out there. No, my dad was a chuco, my uncle was a king. Oh. <laughs> at at Shurs. Para la gente que es un, hey, in, What year did he go with your dad? Like in the night? Uh, no, dad, he had to go in the early 80s. My dad was born in 70, bro. So, so he had to go like... 85. Like, yeah. 85. Yeah. And, yeah. and his brother is younger, like by three years. So, yeah. But um, shout out to the EVG boys, Evergreen. A la ver. ¿Qué es eso? Evergreen and Spalding. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, if you did your constitution test, they should let you walk through right through. Yeah. You but don't even have to take the test. Nice. That's dope, man. That's so, dope. That's all that. So, it's, it's, so just, you know, just to, you know, just tell them everybody. 
you know, it's easy. It's easy. For, for it, especially insurance, especially, you know, getting your... And my grandma at age 60 went to classes and studied and got her citizenship. Go. Yeah. Nah. yeah. Go. I mean, my mom. Um, but during, during the whole I don't know shit. what the price is now. My mom and my dad got it in like 2004, 2005, and it was like 800 not, bucks. Yeah, no, I don't know not, what it is now. No, it's not but expensive. it's still worth it. Whatever the fuck it is, it's worth it. Yeah, right now, no, no it's not tan caro because I'm telling you, my mom just, just became a, a citizen. Hizo todo online. Nice. The, the application online and everything. No más puede ser ya las preguntas en downtown. And that was it, bro. You're the yes, ciudadana americana. Yeah. I told her, uh, as soon as she, I saw her come out the room because I was waiting for her outside, they go, hi, mom, how are you? He said, like, ¿qué? I'm like, usted es americana y habla inglés, mi ma. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's an awesome uh, feeling for... I mean, for us that we come from parents that actually came over here fighting for that American oh, dream, yeah, and they fighting cuando ya cuando se vuelven ciudadanos, they fighting, you know, they feel like que lograron ese sueño. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, I saw it in my parents' eyes Bro, too. Like there's when they um, a couple of things. Like one, how my mom tells me como ella cruzó la frontera, I would never fucking be able to do that. I'm a I, and I say you, this. You know what's crazy? They are Jesus. Jesus story. Dude, Dude, I say actually. this in the van all the time. Yo soy princeso. I do my manicures, I do my manicures, nah, I cannot walk that fucking <laughs> yeah, uh, desert. Giovanni una, actually spoke about the, the una vez me mandó un pinche snap doing his pedicure. Like, I do it all, I do it at least once a month, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell it. I can't I wouldn't be able to do it. And two, when I like I don't do the compra. My mom does the compra and all that shit, bro. But when I go with her and I see like a group of like four men like buying compra together, I'm like, mom, I couldn't do that shit, bro. Like when really? my mom tells me her story, like ella vivió en un apartamento with like with a bunch of people, like five primos, yeah. six primos, or what? Fuck yeah, no, yeah, bro. We, uh, tuvimos a mi compadre Giovanni and he spoke about the whole crossing porque nunca habíamos tenido bueno tenemos a este guest pero nunca una experiencia de cruzar la frontera and that's when I wanted to elaborate with him. And so I know a couple people that cross. They charged them nine thousand dollars from Michoacan. Lately, damn. Uh, about six months ago. Oh damn! Oh, damn. damn. So it's nine, nine. Fíjate. Nine. We were we were in the fifteen hundreds. Yeah. Mazzaro you guys were like eight, from eight to like twelve. Yeah. 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 So, and, and I was I brought. Was 500. I was brought through the border, but I'm, you know, I was a little kid, man. Yeah, and How like I said, my they, dad was too. They, 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 they brought a they brought a quarterback, and they're like, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Was it Brett Favre? Catch el gordito. Yeah, so <laughs> I, when you guys were talking about that, I had just heard a couple of stories about the border crossing. You know, yeah. you know what's crazy, bro? Um, we have some um, musicos que they come every year, right? I mean, some of them come with visas, but there's some that there's some that in the banda that just got here from, from They Mexico. got across. Yeah. And they were telling us the story, como, como pasó todo, and it, it's crazy, man. Bro, like, I wouldn't be... And then when they cross, they got to still stay like three days at a, a like yeah. a cabin type of shit, like... No, but Gio no. was thinking he was there for like a month or some shit. You know, they beat like, his ass. Yeah, man. and they Lego <laughs> le dieron un pinche cachazo en el hocico por no soltar los calzones. <laughs> and shit, like, you know. Nah, bro, I, like, I, could, I couldn't do that I shit, I would be bro. fucking shitting my ass. Like, no matter. Like, I'll be like, scared. Like, take me back. Yeah, like, Here's yeah, my other yeah, question, yeah, Ricky. Um, so what are you recommending for people that actually have insurance through their job? Like, should they still get that side insurance? Always have insurance through the side. You never know if you're going to fi get fired, get okay. quit, or just retire. Okay. That in, if you retire, insurance ends that day. Okay. And that's the that's the one the number no, one. You have um, ninety days after. What the fuck is ninety <laughs> days? <laughs> what is it called? When was the last time you yeah, got Cobra. fired? Cobra. Cobra. Yeah. I, I got fired. No, no, no. no, no, no I got fired no, once no, in my no, lifetime, no, and I had no, no, you guys are talking shit. about medical. I'm, I'm talking, talking about, about life insurance. insurance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, no. That day. Oh, my, like my job offers uh, life insurance. So, ah, okay. so but. And that's the number one, I, I want to say excuse, but excuse isn't the right word. But that's the number one thing that we hear. Oh, I got it through my job. Okay. I, one, I, I do. how much do you have through your job? A lot of people have ten to 15000 which is, like I said, good enough for your burial. An average funeral. Uh, 50. I, mean, I, don't, I don't have what you were saying to have, but I have about, about half of that. Okay. Which is still and not enough. Still better than nothing because your wife isn't going to have to make a GoFundMe for you. But like I said, again. And now you have three boys, and I'm Pero sorry. I, I, I'm... Tiene que doble, primo. No, you know what? <laughs> uh, it, not to be funny with, but uh, he can probably cover that. Like, if you're bigger with it's the fucking payment is much. It's is it? ten dollars more. Uh oh, yeah, so it's like, size matters. Size. I mean, Look, your your health. Hold on. Your <laughs> health condition. <laughs> Let me if say you're this again. Weight. 
No, like, my no, wife, my wife, but the way my wife, I think it, like hers was premium because yeah. she's like she's small. You know, oh. a, el agent me vio me like, oh, I think we have to wait you and like, you know, <laughs> yeah, and check your medical but records look, and all that shit. I'll say this out so, loud. So okay, if I'm and diabetic, if I'm diabetic, like, me van a cobrar más? So we'll get to that. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, this became from a, you know, Ricky's no. life to insurance. Uh, <laughs> so if you're fat. Insurance 101. If yeah. you're fat, okay, I, I'm fat too, so I'll admit it. Ten fifteen dollars more if you're diabetic, cholesterol, <laughs> any of that. Fifty dollars diseases. <laughs> now you're looking at about twenty twenty five dollars more a month. More on top of the twenty. On top of yeah. So it'll be fifty bucks. About ballpark. About yeah. Let's say. That's what you waste on cigarettes. But it man. also depends. <laughs> <laughs> Primo, to perico. Primo, to elaborate. Perico. So, perico. <laughs> so and here's another thing I always say, right? Especially nosotros que somos músicos, right? People complain about our prices. I don't know what they All the time, service, pre, uh, Potrillo, Saxteño, Arroyero, right? La gente tiene dinero para Perico. No van a tener para life insurance. No van a tener para tu grupo. That's what I just said. Tenemos para Perico. That's what I always say. Métete la boca. Like, I'm always saying that what, whatever our price is, and then people's like, oh, nah, yo siempre he dicho, digo, si... Um, no tienen para Perico. En esa noche <laughs> se juntan nah, cinco, verte. seis güeyes en el baño. Yeah, there you go. Nah, That's nah, a nah. example. Forget about the perico. Pero mira, este, <risa> mucha gente, mucha gente, yo, le, yo, yo digo, yo soy de esa mentalidad. Si yo tengo suficiente para comprarme un pinche 24. Un 8. O un 8. Es un 8. Le digo, este, ¿por qué no, no voy a tener dinero para comprar un juguete a mi hijo? Yeah. Like, wherever, wherever I go, like, like know, un and pinche so, juguete uh, que te cuesta 20. I, you know, for baros. me, like, I wasted so much money on stupid stuff. Yeah. And, and when my kids ask me for a toy, I'm like, yep. Go ahead. And, and, so here's the thing. Senso. <laughs> <Hey, that's laughs> I'm going to take it to a whole no level. Forget, <laughs> forget the fucking toy. The yeah. toy is going to cost you 10 to 20, That's 30 saying, bucks, yeah. right? That's I don't know about now, bro. That's the fucking price that They're life insurance now. is yeah, going to yeah, cost yeah, yeah. you. So the, what does your son want? The Octo Optimus Prime today right. or the fucking $100,000 tomorrow? That's what I'm he saying. He wants it in Dinosaurus. Get it in Lamborghini. That's what I tell the paisana. In order to be, well, if you can spend 30 dollars, which is what costs 24 models, este, o un pinche 12 o, o I'll whatever the fuck you're into life insurance is tax free that's how white people stay rich and I said that to State Farm Corporate I want to teach Mexicans what you white people are doing yeah because the landscape so the TikToks are real the land yeah. no and so my landscapers my roofers my contractors my electricians y todo eso musicians that's how you hide your fucking money You put it in life insurance, and that's what white people do because it's tax fucking Caucasian. free. Uh, you need to be correct, Ricky. Cauc fuck it. It's tax free. You need to say they. Nah. They. It's, it's tax free. So that's that's my shit. Well, I think the problem is, Ricky, that you know we have so much paisanada that they don't understand. The it. problem is... Nos cerramos la cabeza. Yeah. No, here's the problem is... Um, Everybody looks to like a Magnum, a Eagle, a yep. United Auto Insurance. So De one, seguranza no vas a estar hablando, güey. So, <laughs> so one, people don't know there's limits on insurance in general. But two, they don't know life insurance covers all that, right? Yeah. And that's fine. I'll take an extra 20, 30 minutes to, to inform you. I have no problems with all that. I'll take the time. Um, Rafa, I talk shit about all the time. But one of my favorite life insurance conversations... Was with Rafael Nava, Sangre Norteña. Hey, we, uh, I think we said this already, but we, we're going to bring Rafa and Richie, man. <laughs> Rafael Nava and Rafa. his wife, they were sitting in front of me. I said a couple of things in, to them, sort of similar, like, hey, 20 years, yada, 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 right? Rafael and his wife then started talking to each other, like, hey, okay, this is how much we kind of need. Boom. They did the work for me. That's a great fucking conversation because one, Rafael, as much shit as we talk to each other on Facebook, one of my best friends. If I ever, and I hope I don't, have to deliver that check, I'll be happy to just because I know I did my conversation with him, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's my boy. If I, if I, if Angie, sorry, Rafa, if I have to use your wife's name out loud, if Angie has to make a GoFundMe, I didn't do my job. Hey, just to... It, You know, he does listen. I know he does. And he has message. <laughs> Says something at five in the morning saying, hey, where the hell's the episode? 
Porque, you know, usually we put like a time mm -hmm. para que salga. Y, y one time, pues, I think salió in Apple Podcast. You know, salió on YouTube or something like that, right? Yeah. Spotify or something. Spotify, yeah. something like that. So he's like, hey, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. And now you, Rafa. Rafa is, like I said, one of my best friends. We talk shit all the time. But when it's time to get serious, and same thing with Boogie, like, you know, we talk shit all. But Rafa got serious with that one. And, and I appreciate it. And one of the hardest things to do is sell, sell life insurance to friends and family. It's hard because I gotta get personal with you guys. Well, you know, it's hard, especially I know from my experience, and it's hard because people think like, "Oh, se va a ganar dinero él," because he's selling me this, you know. Bro, I'll tell you, my commission on those is like ten dollars. Oh, you, you've told me, you've told me. It's ten dollars. But uh, and know, that's fine. I'll make my ten dollars, and if I sell all of you guys, that's ten dollars more, 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 whatever. You know, el, the one that makes the commission is the you know the, agency the agent, yeah. and and that's cool, and the company. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if, like I said once again, if something happens to you guys and I have to deliver a hundred thousand dollar check, even though that sounds minimum, right now, that's better than a GoFundMe. Yeah. So here's my question to you, Ricky. Since you're not part of State Farm right now or uh, Farmers, who you think has the best State life Farm. insurance? State Farm insurance right now. State Farm. State. I'm not a part of any company. I'm solo. When I left State so Farm... So, you tell me Eagle Insurance doesn't have a good insurance? No. <laughs> Does this car have insurance? When I left State Farm, I saw the prices outside, and everybody has the misconception that State Farm is expensive. It's not. It's worth it? It's worth it. La cosa que no me aceptaron. We can try now. <laughs> it's been more than five years since your DUI. My, my thought, since I was a kid, I always thought Allstate was not expensive. Allstate went to... Uh, went to number four after um, their rate increase. Uh, so what did they do the rate, the rate increase for? So the thing is, every year, you know, things go up. There's a rate increase. For the last three years, I want to say, it's been State Farm. It's been Geico on the auto side. So you're saying Geico's good or on the auto Geico side? Geico on the auto side is really good. I'm, I'm not going to complain telling me the switch? Piggy, Piggy said it was I'm, good. I'm not yeah. telling you. No, because the difference is I'm going to trust Piggy. Geico doesn't have home. <laughs> Geico doesn't have home. All three of you guys have home, so you can bundle your packages. Yeah. State Farm has home. I think that was the best decision, we. And, and, and I think who's I, the best home insurance right now? State Farm. They haven't. Uh, it's called an, It's too much. I ha I had my renters insurance with you. Yeah, me and too. Then you and then when owners. I bought my house. Yep, you know, had my. State Farm the only reason why I'm gonna go to Allstate because of the guy. Talks Don't like, go to Allstate. Like, <laughs> gusta la voz. So yeah. I told this to Fofo as well. Like. Shh. Shop State Farm. I don't give a fuck. Shop with State Farm. The homeowners with farmers with American. Hey, family. shout out to Fo Compa Fo. I don't think he listens, but shout out to Compa Fo. He does. Shop listen. State Farm with home uh, on the homeowners with any other company except Allstate. Allstate homeowners, to me personally, my opinion is the worst homeowners policy out there. Like expensive or not? Not so Cover expensive. Or, or, yeah. Coverage because they have two two deductibles: one for regular homeowners and one for wind and hail. What's that? Oh. Oh, like, if, if when and hail okay, happens, okay. there's a separate deductible. And on top of that, they do actual cash value. So whatever this table is worth today, it's not worth it 40 in bucks. 10 years. 60, yeah. 40, oh, and 60? they're oh. going to pay you what it's worth Inflation. at that year. So while well, State Farm does replacement costs, whatever so, this table costs to replace today. So, so here's my question, bro. I mean, I'm sure everybody gets this at their houses. You know how you get those people that go knocking on your windows or your doors asking you to, uh, like, change your roof or something, and they do it through the insurance? Mm -hmm. Is that recommended by an actual insurance agent or no? Mm, yes and no. Okay, why? I don't mind. I hate them knocking at your door okay. and telling you file a claim. Okay. They're looking for money. Okay. One, don't sign your name on the fucking contract. So because I, I sign Ceso, Ceso, uh, no, 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 no. They're going to keep 15% or whatever, the, whatever the fuck Arroyo. it is. No, it's, it's 15 or 30. And I know it's such a discrepancy in the okay. number, but it's, I think it's 15 or 30. That they get. That they keep. So okay. if State Farm gives you or if America. So, so when, they, when you do the claim, does that check go to them directly or does that go to yes. you? Yes. When you sign, yes. Oh, okay. I didn't the, know And that. they're keeping 30% for just signing. So basically on what you're going to get, they're going to. 
So if somebody comes and knocks on your door, okay, mm -hmm. that's fine. They're, they might be telling you the truth. I'm not saying they're not. Okay. Get two or three more estimates. Okay. And if those two or three tell you, hey, primo, si tienes daño, okay, okay file the fucking claim. Okay. But you file it. Don't let them file it for you because they're going to keep. Then I can uh, keep that 15 and 30%. Yeah, right? they're going to oh. keep They're gonna keep a finder's fee. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think we should make a separate episode. We should. Just for. for I, always had that, I always had that question because. I'm sure you get them come by where the guys go knocking yeah, on the no, door. No, well, well, my my roof got replaced by State Farm, and ah, and it was yeah. So, no, no, no. Hey, man, they, they, I owe you a fucking beer. Let's open it. Let's open it. Beso, beso, beso. Be, este compadre, güey. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what happened to me? I had a. So what happened? What happened was, you can do all the. All they're doing is collecting 30, 15 or 30 percent. I can't remember what it is. Pero, right now. ¿sabes qué? Lo que sí pasó es que se me subieron la seguridad. And that's fine because everything is going How up. How much? No. Yeah. So, insurance is going up right now. I'll tell yeah, you guys yeah. all that. So, the price of wood went up, the price of protecting your home went oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, everybody got a. But, you know what? I'll give you that. Like, see, you know. Everybody went up about 100 to 200 yeah, yeah. right now with State Farm in general. I'll tell you that. I My did have. Um, went down, though. That's good. Shut the fuck up. Don't yeah, say don't anymore. Yeah, don't say shit. <laughs> so I, I did have uh, wind and hail damage on my roof. And I was like, hey, I'm a first-time homeowner. No, no sé qué pedo. Like, I don't know what to do. And I called. Se like, me fueron los shingles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Shingles okay. flew and off. Hold okay. on. Wait, now that you say that. One wind, one shingle, whatever the fuck, is not worth whatever your deductible is. Please don't file a claim for one shingle. No, no, but I mean, I yes. had, I had. You're sending no, me no. a higher uh, geo on the side to put my shingle back. No, <laughs> if it's one silicone. shingle, yes. He's Bad and bring, funny constructions. He's bring silicone and fucking. Hell yeah. yes, <laughs> duct tape. Because and... that will raise your rates. Oh, yeah. What's the what's that uh uh? Come on, that uh flex flex shit. Oh what's yeah, it? I know what you're talking what about. Put the shit on. Uh, the one that where they make a hole and then uh -huh, they slap that it's thing on it. Tape on it stops the water. Does it really work? Does it work? Flex and seal. Hey, you should. You should use it right here in your foundation. Oh, wait. fuck you, man. But yeah, no. It's still leaking it, but bitch. And look, I have no problems if you guys message me, and I get a lot of messages because people know me. Pero hablamos español también. Hablamos español también, and I know hey, I haven't talked a lot Funny story. But we mean for Bolsco. I mean, I love Bolsco. No, I think I recommend <laughs> I I recommend you to my dad. Uh, my dad también. Mm -hmm. My dad had all, uh, I'm sorry, State Farm for his house insurance. De Guerrero o okay. qué? Well, no, here. No, no. Can no, you, I, hey, can, so, you put, can you put uh, insurance in Guerrero houses? No, no, no. Ah, no, no. fuck. <laughs> no, but so, then I look, called them. I'm like, why don't you just call him for this? And my boy. Because they had, they had Geico. They had Magnum. They had, oh, no. I'm sorry. They had Magnum. They had on the car insurance. insurance? The no, no, the car, car insurance. Oh, car but, insurance. But, and, look, and then when I found out they had State Farm for the house, I'm like, bundle that shit together. Here's my last thing I'll say about insurance and we'll move on. Um, If you have Magnum. I understand people need to have Magnum because of no licenses and whatnot. I'm not knocking that. So you're if, saying the State Farm doesn't insure uh, No, we, they don't. Okay. I, I That's, don't uh, I say it in Spanish? Throw it out there. So Spanish? Si, State I, Farm no asegura gente que no tenga licencia. No, oh, matricula. Matricula. Okay. matricula. No, matricula. no well, it's licencia. We need well, a license. Okay, so here's my other question. What about la gente que tiene licencia, pero que es la que, for people that... The TVDL? TVDL? No, the TVDL is fine with oh, State so Farm. Good. Yeah. Oh, sí. Okay, la, okay. La, I just want to throw it out there. La licencia it's, it's... morada está bien con State Farm. Okay. Because okay. I think what happened, I think what I messaged you one time about insuring my girl's uncle. Yeah. Licencia, licencia morada, ¿verdad? La, la, está, la, está, la licencia morada está, está bien con State Farm. You still got S SR22. Entiendo. Entiendo que State Farm no asegura gente con licencia. That's fine. Si tienen licencia, por favor, look, look elsewhere. Around. Shop around. Elsewhere, yeah? Hey, uh, and the difference with State Farm is, and I'll, okay. I'll use all three of us. We're drinking right now, right? Yeah. If one of us is buzzed We're not and we home. don't want to drive, if I tell Celso, drive my truck, with State Farm, it's covered. Okay. If Celso gets into an accident in my truck, with Magnum, it's not. And ghost, uh-huh. With oh. those other insurance companies, it's not. Okay. Oh, okay. Because so he's not rated on my policy. What about one that has SR22, como mi copa Celso? Fuck you. <laughs> State Farm does that. <laughs> I just got off of it. <laughs> State Farm does SR22s, um, but I know a different way to work around with that. Hey, so just, Damn, just to... I know you 10 years ago. Yeah, just to finish on this topic, um, if they need to contact you... 
Go for it. For insurance? Where? What number? Uh, 773-216-3060. Next question. Is that the same number for Conjunto Arroyero? No, it's not. <laughs> That's <laughs> Lalo's number. Okay. okay. Here, but here's, here's, just to finish on this. Go ahead. Here's another question. <laughs> if people que no tiene, que nomás tiene matricula, if they cannot go with State Farm, who do you recommend after that? Honestly. Magnum. Like, like who, you, who I mean... Ooh, American. I mean, if they have no choice, on like the no, auto choice side, no choice. On the auto side, Geico. Geico. And you know Geico what? takes you matricula? Uh, I don't know. Okay. But um, Geico, Allstate is good on the auto side and all that good stuff, right? On the homeowner side, I just don't like Allstate's uh, homeowner policy? policy. Okay. I don't. I don't like their homeowner. So you saying that do with the nice voices line? I, I guess I don't know. Habla bien, güey. But hablo bonito. But if not, I. We've I'll, been there. We've done me, that. Okay. Give me a call and I'll 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 find where to place you. You'll me. guide him. Yeah, I'll guide you either Come State on. Farm, I'll stay. He didn't uh, fucking whatever. guide me when I went. I couldn't. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's, that says something. I that couldn't. was a barricade. Yeah, I, I was really seriously fucked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, just to finish on that topic because we have to move on. Este, so right now, where are you at, like music wise? Mm-hmm. I, I know we we derailed so, really bad, yeah. but it's so the, from. From Simbolo Norteño, I did about a year and a half in um, uh, Centenario Norte. Oh, you guys they, were better. They, play, they yeah. played at the baby shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Centenario Norte, and uh, you know what? I I had a fun time. <laughs> I don't think he was there by then. That was no, 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 no. He was still there because I there? stayed. We opened. You guys closed. No, we were, yeah. You, we, you guys closed. Man. No, you guys closed. I don't remember. No, you guys part. closed because I always had you guys closed. He, he had to have closed because yo canté todavía con ustedes y todavía medio conscious. There's a live video where he's singing. So I did about a year and a half with a Centenario Norte Cool Cats, you know, hire them. Really, honestly, do hire them. <laughs> they still around? They're or? still playing, yeah. yeah. And they're, they, they're um, old school cats. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, they've been in the game for a while. And then at that point, I get a. I went to Mansion to go see Recoditos and Angel, my current singer, and Lalo, who is my current uh, quinto, but he was bass. They were playing that night, and they're like, hey, uh, you know, we have an opening. Like, our drummer wants to retire. Do you want to come? I'm like, fuck it. So I go and try out for the group, and we, I joined, and then all of a sudden, pasaron unas cosas, and they're like, you know what? We're going our own way, and this is like two weeks later. Yeah. And I'm like, well, fuck it. You guys gave me the the invite. I'll follow you guys. And at that point, now we're coming up with a name. We're registering the name, and we're doing everything. And now we're looking for musicians as well. And I, not I, only that, but now you have a disquera también. No, that was way, way uh, after a couple. But at that point, it was let's it was to start the group. Right, we had an idea of what we wanted to do. So me, uh, Angel, and Lalo. My singer and my bajo, uh, at that point, he became our bajo quinto. Uh, we're, we're looking for musicians, right? So I call uh, Alonzo, my bass. Do he, I like that guy's swag, man. Al- Alonzo? He has a cool swag. Uh, Alonzo, and no offense to all my bass player friends, Chuy, Fofo, and everybody that I've ever played with. Alonzo's my favorite bass really? player. He really fucking yeah, is. Yeah, we're going to have to make a pod with all the bass players, man. And so Al- Look- uh, speaking of that, drummers called me out. They say they want to have Pac. No, so like that, that been on. The, the drummer pod has been on for like a while. Yeah. We had a lot of drummers. I want to talk shit to We're bringing Piggy one. Let's do it. Cool. Let's do it. I'm doing it. So, Piggy, Rafa, Rickster, Rafa. Ricky. So, yeah, that's Rafa, fine with me. Rick, yeah. Fucking no, Nel- Nel- Nelson Rivas. So, what happened was I helped, I helped um, Alonzo. He was part of Elemento Norteño. I think I heard it. I helped them for like oh, two. Oh, that's when uh, the singer, ¿cómo se llama? Chuy. Chuy, damn. That's, yeah. Him. You so, heard him? No. He's a badass singer, He's a badass singer, bro. I'll, I'll send you the video later. He we did, did, we did a cuarentena he, video. Yeah. Oh. Quererte I was, I was, I was dead after that. Algún día. Yeah, right? I was dead after yeah, that, remember? Da, 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 da. I only did oh, one yeah, video. Oh, yeah, you were in the hospital. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did one video and then I died. So, <laughs> no, I, I helped Alonzo out for like... So, me and Alonzo tried to start a project back in the day, but it didn't work out. But I still helped out. Los cumbieros? Or qué? No, no, no. <laughs> and then I, me and Alonzo still tried to... Um, me and Alonzo... <laughs> you said you're going to explain this. So, me and Alonzo tried, uh, tried to start our own project. It didn't work out. But when me, Lalo, and Ankur, I called Alonzo first. Alonzo said, no, like, I'm retiring, yada, 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 right? You know, in the walk pod, he actually brought up the story. 
that uh, you guys messaged him. That we me- uh, Piggy had Piggy messaged, messaged him. him. Yep. Yeah. And then so, he, 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 I think he went to play with you guys for a weekend. He and came. then he stayed with us. Yeah, I'm like, So, Damn. So what happened was... Hey, uh, but I'm happy that Fofo's back, though. Uh, uh, yeah, he stayed with... Uh, he went back to Saxena. Yeah, he went back. So then Alan joins us. No, Angelito joins us. Angelito was there from day one, our, our yeah, accordion. Of course. Uh, then Alan joins us, and, and um, este, Alonso joins us the first day. Then Alonso gives us his word, our first gig. Yeah, I'm staying. I liked it, you know? And since that day, uh, February 6th of 2021, I want to say. So you guys were a COVID van. A uh, COVID van. And we, we were literally, I want to say, the first baile that was accepted after COVID. Mm-hmm. Que le dieron promoción y Control, todo. right? No, uh, Bee House in Lombard. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I was there, bitch. You were? <laughs> yes. Uh, I played uh, there, too. Rick Elegante, I want to say, and yeah. Pedro. Pedro Everastico. Eh, yeah. 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 Yeah, those two guys. Sal- Salud, amigo. We were there. We, we alternated. Hey, Pedro, yeah, we hire us there. too, man. La, la gente de por ahí de Zapopa, Guerrero, compadre, por ahí, Salud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, yeah. they were the promoters. Actually, we are, we are, hey, we we're going to bring them. them. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we, we haven't brought no promoters yet. Yeah. And so they were the ones that promoted that baile. That was our first official baile. We did Debut, a, right? Yeah, our debut with that lineup. The week before, we played with uh, different guys. And um, stuff didn't work out, but whatever. So, they didn't get paid. No, 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 they got paid. <laughs> they got paid. But the next Saturday at B House, we debuted with what our lineup is right now. And it's been fucking wonderful. I mean, this wonderful is a, is, a, is a perfect word because you guys guys signed up. Uh, bro, we start so February 6th and we were at Azteca Records, uh, I want to say August. I remember you, you 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 sent me some Snapchats. I'm like, yeah, Damn. we we were at the office, yeah. and in three months we made no no. In, I want to in two months we made enough noise where they recognized us. Y nos hicieron la invitación to go to Texas and talk to them like face to face, and they're like, hey, you guys are making noise. Están a you know es algo que nos interesa. Um, we want to bring you guys on board, and at that point we're like, fuck, and fuck we didn't it. believe it at first, right? And I remember me and Lalo, we were at the Azteca offices and we're debating, like, kind of if we want to post a picture at the Azteca office or not, right? And not so much because we didn't want to. Of course, we wanted to, but we're like, what if they don't want to sign us? Yeah. Like, what if we just post this picture and all of a sudden nothing happens and, ah, pendejos, los manos al- yeah. alborotaron for nothing. And we're like, fuck it, what's the worst that can happen, right? And mm-hmm. at least we were here. Yeah. And they told, like, we're having a conversation with them. And they're like, esto es lo que queremos hacer con ustedes, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, at that point, me and Lalo are looking at each other and like, oh, shit, it's serious. It's real. They got a, they got a plan for us. Not only that, but I think you're like the first Chicago band with Azteca Records, right? Yeah. I think. And so that's another thing, because we were sitting down with them and they, they want the Chicago market. They have Texas. That's where they're based. They're based out of Dallas. They have Maquinaria, they have La Fiera, who is San Luis Potosí, and all that. They want Chicago. They're like, oh, well, you guys are from Chicago. What, What's different over there? So at that point, you know me. Es que they don't, they don't, it's it's kind of like how we are here. Nosotros no, no conocemos qué es lo que hay en Cali. No, sab, no sabemos lo que hay en Las diferencias. Yeah. No. So and, they, 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 wanna, they, wanna, they, they want their foot here. And mm-hmm. I remember Angel was talking like, el norteño sex de Chicago es un poquito más rápido. Yeah. And it's because of the, the Duranguense mm. influence. Yep. So here's my other question. Is uh, Cumbre Norteña considered Ana, Ana a, Chicago, pedo, a, a Chicago uh, Norteña con sax? But I, don't, I mean, no, I, I wouldn't say they're from Chicago. We were having the same I mean, de- now they are. We were having the same debate the other day. They're California to me. They, okay. I get that they they live now. They st- I mean... But to me, they're still California. I don't, I don't, know, I, I don't know. I don't know Lechuga personally, but he raps LA. Yeah. But to, he has and, all Chicago musicians now. Oh, George, right? He came out from uh, Georgie. San, Georgie from Sangre. So did Luis. He came out yep. from their sex. He came out from Sangre too. Yeah. To me, there's. Well, isn't Sangre originally también from, from Cali? También. No, 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 no. Uh, Jose, Jose. Jose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're here. Yeah, yeah. They're here. But, but no, he has that. He 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 went to Cali already to para... record. Yeah, they ah. went over there to record. But that's when Norteño sax wasn't popular. Right. So he had to go record. 
in uh, Cali. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Because I Durangense thought, I, 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 were for strong some reason, here. I always thought that they were from Cali because he has that Cali. He has the Cali he touch. Has the, well, I yeah. was going to say the, that voice. Yeah. You know? The touch. Even the mu- la if you If you ask me, I mean, not to compare people, but Lechuga y El Compa Jose, like the voice same, part. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Right? They got the same yeah. feeling. Yeah, uh, but I, mean, I sing some of the same. I sing some of the same songs, but uh, like I can't do the same. But feeling. it's because to me, Jose came up, and at, because remember at that point, who did we have here in Chicago to idolize or mimic, other than um, Pensamiento Negro? I want to say was the biggest. Yeah, yeah. And Celso, I, don't know, I just came Celso in. Celso's like, who the fuck is <laughs> Pensamiento Negro? I just That's came a, in. exactly yeah. proving my point. There's not nor, no, Chicago wasn't known for Norteño sax. No. Nope. So no, that pues, back in the days, you know, I said, Eroes. I mean, and Eroes is still new. That's what I'm trying to say. They got like, what, 20 years in, in the game? But they were in sacks the whole time, no? I, I honestly don't know. Sepa, sí? But back in the day, like, the the Eroes of back in the day was Pensamiento Negre, Negro. Oh. So, that, and that's what I'm trying to say. So, you know, Sangre, like, don't get me wrong, Arroyero, we get drunk to Eroes. All the fucking time. Oh, yeah, me too, man. Like, well, la última vez que te vi. Yeah, la última vez que te vi. It was fucking yeah. yeah. My shout outs to Sergio, yeah, my was, shout outs to Nico, yeah. my shout outs to my tocayo no, Ricky. Yep. I mean, oh, oh, man. I always, I always said it on. Me gusta que me no. um, <laughs> I always said that um, Nico is the best Norteño con sax singer in Chicago. He's Chicago. A, he's a great fucking you singer, bro. I thought I was, bro. También está primo. <laughs> but, you know, you know, I, I love how you sing Los, los, los Barandales del Puente, primo so, <laughs> Here's the thing Like, Sangre in that whole time When Duranguense was popping okay. Sangre was one Sangre and Ero was, were probably one of the first, two And La Ley del Norte, I want to say okay. Those three groups were the La three, Ley del Norte was dope as fuck, too Were those oh, three groups they were, That were, were Norteño, still though. sticking to their fucking style the roots, yeah. While Duranguense blew up and you know after Duranguense is when all the other of us groups took off I don't know too much about Higuerillo's history I don't know too much about uh, um, other groups histories but since then mm-hmm. yeah you know it was Corsel for a while yeah. it was um, who else am I missing Celso? Corsel it was Corsel La Ley del Norte Héroes and someone else ah uh, Oh, Reino, fuck. Yeah, Reino. Oh, Reino, Reino tremendo. Tremendo. You Pero know? Reino, Reino se ha, se, se, se they, ha puesto en they've un... They've evolved a ajá, lot of times. Like, um, ellos eran más, un poquito más norteño, classic. And then they went to sax. They, 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 to sax and they killed it. They fucking killed it. And like, so, so there's all that. So and, here's here's my question to you guys. Um, I feel like right now Chicago doesn't have a, a style. You be... I would debate you. I don't, I don't finish. Uh, meaning, like, like we don't have something that um, back in the day, you know how like, we had Duranguense that, that you know, that was from Chicago. You know, that, like, you heard Duranguense, you're like, oh, this is Chicago. Like, right now, I think, like, Chicago is all over the place. It is. Meaning, like, we have groups trying to be, like, California groups, meaning, like, you know, all those groups que son como, not Norteño con sax, but they're trying to be, like, the new style of Norteño. The pop. Uh, yeah. And then we have Norteño con sax. Sierreño. Oh, we have, I mean, not, banda. Not, we have a lot Caliente, of, you know, he, here's my thing. Chicago, we have our style. We really fucking do. Because a lot of us groups have the same fucking repertorio as much as we want to so, deny okay. it. So, okay. You have to play Prieta Linda. You and have to play Solitario. Flores, Flores de la Flores. Uh, um, Flowers of the Flowers. No, 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 no. Flores de las Flores. Flores de las Flores. Flores de las Flores. Everybody <laughs> fucking plays that. You song. have to because of the Chicago <laughs> influence from Durango, Zacatecas, Michoacán, Guerrero, and Jalisco. I want to say those are, those are the five big states that you play for here in Chicago. So we do have a style. But the thing is, for some reason, our style is not accepted in Texas. And California. That's the fucked up part to me. Why the fuck? And I like Brio. Why is Brio such a big shit when I think our Norteños are at <gasps> there? I mean, I don't, I don't mean to be bogus, but I don't know who Brio is. But I mean, I mean I'm not deep into the Norteño thing like you guys are. Es que era, eh, um, I get, I, it sounds kind of bogus, but like, like, I hear these bands, like, Graban Bien, 
But if you hear them live, they don't they don't sound like they. Hey, like you know who I was impressed? I, w- I went to a concert maybe two weeks ago. Pescadores. Oh yeah. Fuck. And you see, I'm not a biggest fan of pescadores. No, but you gotta no, see them live, boy. You gotta, gotta, gotta see them live. Hey, I, I don't mean to talk shit, wait, pero so it yeah, was maquinaria first, pescadores, y luego la furia. La furia. Cumbre con caja. Have you ever seen Cumbre con caja? No way. All the fucking musicians sing. Oh, that's badass. All the fucking musicians sing. Los Avila. Avila's a shit. All the fucking musicians and sing. I like Cumbre I con caja. I want to see those. I don't tri- like Avila. What? I, I don't fuck? like Avila. It's the same shit, Casi. I don't, I don't like Avila. You. I want to see Rugar, man. Hey. Rugar, oh, badass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Badass. But, okay, so back. So when I saw these three bands, I was fucking impressed by Pescadores, man. Yeah, but more than ma- more than Maquinaria. More, hey, Maquinaria played all the hits, but when it came to the show, like a fucking show, Pescadores way. Okay, y- you know, you know what? Um, th- there's times where I see bands from other, like even from Mexico, come to Chicago, and I'm like, this band got them. Like, this band. You know what? A, a You're the better. banda guy. I was really impressed with Corona del Rey. I, was, I seen the live videos. I was really fucking impressed with Corona del Rey. I, I see, okay, so Corona del Rey is really good, right? But there's one thing about Corona del Rey. I don't know. Were you impressed by their voices or what were you impressed by? Uh, their song selection. Their song selection is great. Fucking really, a uh, great fucking repertorio. Repertorio uh, was really, really good. They, Every song was perfect, they, I want to say. They, re- they remind me of a... Um, Young Firme. No, like like when it comes to the repertorio, like, like Banda Viento... Like like the rancheras, you know, like the, the mm-hmm. nice rancheras. Mm-hmm. That's what they remind me of. Qué casualidad. They, they remind me of that. Sing it, asshole. Pero, pero when it comes to bandas that come from Mexico or from California, I feel like here in Chicago we have the talent to to um be better, be as good or probably a little better than them. And but, I feel the same way, but I think it hurts us that we're in the middle of the country. Yes. I, I And, okay, this might be my bias, but I honestly think us Chicago musicians have as much or more talent than Texas or California. I really do. And, and then we have the, the the enough influence from Mexico musicians. Que ya están aquí ya grandfather. Right. Like, like, for example, Sergio from Héroes del Norte. Chabelo from Banda Potrillos. Arturo from Banda Viento. You know, they, 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 they bring that, that old school mentality from Mexico and pretty much pounded on all the new younger musicians here. And, like, you know, like, the guy, I, I mean, I don't remember his name, but the guy they had on a walk pod that played the accordion, and then he's, like, an old-school musician, the Norteño, and he started... Bebe. Like, yeah, like, like him, you know, for him. From like, the late, like, he's, like, like he's a foundation from, from the Norteño side. Like, that I'm sure, like, millions and probably muchos músicos Norteños, like, fed off of him and, and got their style from him. But, they, you know, they modified it a little more. Like we have enough of that, of that, of that old. And to me, it's here. just that that we're in the middle of the fucking no, country. No, el, el pedo está también que like I Chicago people are hyping up too much of the corridos the, 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 outside. No, the outside instead of hyping up what we have in the inside. A California style. Yeah. And so here's Even the Texas, thing, Texas dude. Everybody wants to dress like Texas now. Everybody wanted to at some point wanted to fucking sing like fucking Cali style. Por qué no don't hype up what you have here. You know the style. I think that, everybody's that, that, everybody's following the trend. Boy. Here's the saying. thing, bro, and hopefully Arroyero as a Bring as a back door against it. Fuck it, man. <laughs> <laughs> no. Us as Arroyero next year we plan to travel a, a little bit more. We've traveled a little bit this year, but we want to travel a little bit more th- next year. But the the Chicago set outside of Chicago is a banger. Like la we don't play it, but La Prieta Linda de Sangre, you know? Oh, la, the Solitario de Héroes, you know, is what I'm trying to say. The Chicago set outside of Chicago levanta, levanta la gente. Yeah, yeah. Porque lo viejito. No, 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 uh, lo que he visto de Chicago ha traído lo viejito y lo está haciendo, like, nuevo. Like, like modernizing A lot of, a lot of uh, Saxteño songs, they're old school songs. Old all of our, good. all of our group songs, right? Like Los like, Barandales uh, del Puente. Yeah. For me, all of those are How old. old is that? For me, for me, Celso's favorite. My my favorite song, the Celso, is Every Do Amor. <gasps> no, <laughs> no. And so, está la de este llorando mar y si nadie me la canta. Te la canto ahorita, güey. A ver. No, and so I played with Junebug's uh, and Paco's dad, and he has a lot of boleros and a lot of songs that I've never heard of. Right. 
And I remember before Junebug started um, Deriva, oh, dude, uh, I told Junebug and Paco, I'm like, bro, just take all of your dad's songs and yeah, add sax. Dude, ese señor, dude, tiene un chingo. Tiene un puto like, repertorio, bro. Like, nasty. And, I was like, dude. And I, una cosa que, when I joined Deriva, que uh, este Paquito, el acordeonero, me dijo, dice, I know a lot of songs, bro. I'm like, I know you do, bro. Like, I, I come because from of a, their, yeah, their pops. I come from a different genre. Dice, pero, like, yo le dije, le digo, pero I want to know as much songs as you. Dice, primito, by the time I'm done with you, nos van a llamar la rocola. Bro, bro because this I guy out, knows a shitload of songs. I helped out Paco's dad for, like, three or four weeks. Y no mames, bro. Like, if it wasn't for his pops, I wouldn't know how to play boleros. Like yeah, that, they told me. They that's told the me first that. place story. I, was like, oh, I've, shit. I've, I've, I play boleros. I've never yeah. played boleros in my life, and I had to figure it out there. And I was like, holy shit. And I told Paco and Junebug, I'm like, bro, just add sax to every single yeah, song your dad no, has. They got some beautiful music. And so father, like, dude, the simplest man in the fucking world. Talentoso, talentoso. I'm like, damn. And I, I, I remember I sat with him at a party and I was just like fucking jamming. Dude. And, yo, yo, and I, don't know, I don't know Paco and Junebug's dad it, uh, life if they got hit with the bell or in their, <laughs> their dad might have been the worst person in the world. I don't know. But I'm like, man, you guys got a good dad over there, yeah, bro. Man, like, they do. They do. Like, what the Salos fuck? Para yeah. Hey, bro. So um, we are about a two hour and a half. Yeah, we're, we're at the mark, um, man. Hey, so Ricky, right now with uh, Conjunto Royero. I saw you guys did Lágrimas with uh, Maquinaria. Am I right? Yes, sir. So what's the next step? What What is the what's next? What's the plans? So we, what was it? Like uh, about three months ago, we went into the studio. We recorded three, four songs at once. Where at? Where nice. at? DLS. Saludos para el compa Iloy. Saludos para Le Mans. Uh, el compa Junior and el compa uh, Mando, el hermano de, what's her name? De Los Horoscopos. Marisol. Marisol. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. he was your engineer? He was uh, junior and Mando. And let me tell nice. you, bro, fucking badass, right? Nice, nice. So we recorded what we needed to record. But at the end of September, uh, September we have um, we yes. have our song program for this month. When does the podcast come up? Uh, hopefully next week. Uh, Thursday? July. Thursday? I could have it by Thursday. Es que, pues, we had a little issue with our editors. He was... I, our sponsors okay, were paying. Okay, so... Chris is going to be out after July 4th. So, July 8th, sale our next one. Oh, which, so it'll probably uh, be July out by 7th. Now. July 7th. July 8th yeah, is uh, Tu Desastre, which is still a cover. So, tomorrow. Uh, uh, yes, tomorrow. <laughs> Je hey, he just made it a fucking, he made it a fucking goal. So yeah, you made no, it, you it, made it make you. it. Yeah. July 8th, Sale to Desastre, which is our next single, still a cover. You might know it with Gerardo Reyes, all you Guerrero guys, or you might know it with La Arrolladora. Um, ¿Cuándo van a grabar la de Pueblos de Guerrero, güey? Ni madre. Este, <laughs> Ay, que regreso pa'l sur. After that, we still have another one, una de Ramón Ayala. I still won't say the name just because we haven't been told yet when we can start promoting it in september is when i am really fucking excited because that's when our first in inedita okay. comes out oh, that's shit. our first that's baby dope. hell yeah our first song that nobody's heard of and um i hope so who wrote it uh tonio uh he used to be the accordion player for cumbre Norteña that Yor Yorgi took over for. Mm -hmm. So Tonyo wrote it and um, we recorded it. That's hopefully September. If everything goes well, I'm hoping September and on Pura Nedita. So here's my other shout question. out. Shout out all your uh, social your, media for your current band, man. And your co and your bandmates. I mean, yeah, so um, I mentioned Alonzo. That's my right hand man. That's my goodbye. bass player. You know, Sección. Uh, Lalo, he is bajo quinto, bajo sexto. I always forget which Puro one. Morelos. But I think it's bajo quinto. Oh, well, okay, we're going that. Alonso is from Durango. I always forget what part. Uh, Lalo is from Morelos, but he'll say he's from Durango. <laughs> and um, then from there, we go to Angel, my singer. Uh, Puro Durango. Parras. From there, we go to Ocotlan. That's my accordion, Angelito, uh, Ocotlan, Jalisco. Which his dad is also a musician, right? His dad is a musician. And from there, we also go to Allen, who is half Durango, half Jalisco. McGuire. <laughs> so, 
Alan Aguirre. Alan Aguirre. Aguirre. So it's my boys, and you know what? It's um, it's funny. Like we get along and we hate each other, but we still don't hate hey, each that's, other. Hey, that's that's what it is, man. Is it, una, una no, we're not as bad as Saxteño, bro. Because you guys. No, are no, the we're oh, <laughs> we talking that shit about <laughs> my boys, no, bro. No, no, we're. I mean, we put it out on Wakpat. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, don't yeah, have. Yeah. I mean, we have, we have a brotherhood, but oh. We no, have like a so, love and hate relationship. Like my them. thing is, like I'll go out and I'll drink with Angelito and I'll drink with uh, Alan. Like we'll go to Mariela's together. There's some times where Alonzo can join us, but you know he's married. There's some times where Lalo can join us. He's married, and um, you know. And then my biggest thing is with Angel. Angel, if I can get him to laugh at a Angel like, or Angelito. Angel, our singer. Uh-huh. So we go from Angel, who is the oldest guy, to Angelito, yeah. who is our accordion. When, I never knew they were named the same. When yeah, I yeah. when I can get Angel, my singer, to pop. Hey, you know, I, I actually play with Angel. Where? At Chepe. Oh, Chepe. Con Chepe is Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, I think he plays sax, too. He he plays sax. And he, he played trombone. trombone. And, and he, he did tuba with braceros. He was playing trombone with me. Man. Yeah. So and we did like a maybe like a month. Yeah, he tried to learn. Yeah, know, yeah. And then uh, he was doing Segunda Voz con Chepe, and he was playing trombone. And, I mean, we were both yeah, playing no. trombone. My thing is with Angel. Like, when Angel is serious, like, he parties with us. He can have a drink with us. But if you can get Angel to pop, like, have a good laugh, that means you threw out a good joke. Yeah. And it's usually me and Lalo throwing shit at each other, right? So if I can get Angel to laugh. Si, si no nos dices, no nos damos cuenta on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, he doesn't have, oh, me and Lalo? No, yeah, yeah. We fucking hate each other, yeah, love each other. Crias, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean, dude. Uh, it's I mean, a it's a great um relationship, Kimika, everything in Well that, that's know. how it, that's how it should be, man. That's yeah. how it should be, bro. Yeah, like, honestly, should be. like si no tienes una If you have a musician getting out of your band every other month, something's wrong. Can something's wrong. And the thing is like me and Alan we De can mí make... no vas a estar hablando, güey. Oh shit, I'm sorry, <laughs> no, no. Nah, me, me. Nah. me, Alan and Angelito oh, like, who yeah. No. <laughs> Me, Alan, and Angelito, who don't have the responsibility, the family responsibilities, we mm-hmm. hang out, right? We can do, but we can also hang out with the other guys. Well, and that's the that's the perfect part, you know. I think at that point, I mean, I want to say things because, I mean, you we told you, hey, you want to come by, and you're like right away, yeah, yeah, for real, uh, yeah. Le dije este, le dije I had com- to ask Kilo for permission. Le dije a mi compadre, like, oh. Ah, este güey no tiene nada que hacer, ¿no? Man, bro. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I like que traiga su perro. Traiga su perro. Like, what are you doing? Y le dejen la troca. Let's stop by. Nah, bro. Arroyero, it took off fast. And, it, and uh, I hope that it keeps it, going. It, it took off fast. And, um, like, I talk, especially Misael, I talk to you a lot. Yeah. I, um. Cosas en crías. Uh, we Some tried, but no se pudo, güey. No, no, no se pudo. No, 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 no. I couldn't find the hole. No. <laughs> I, I, you know, I delivered, but no, no sé qué le pasó. No, no. No, but me and me... He, he didn't lot. get pregnant, güey. No sé qué pasó, güey. Uh, <laughs> Faustino and I are in the group chat, but yeah. obviously he's a different gen- genre. And me and Celso, like, we don't talk as much, but we're in the same genre. Y nos tenemos la confianza anyways, regardless. You guys can sleep together tonight, si quieres, güey. Oh, hey. Yeah. Well, he I has. Re- I slept he here, slept. so that's no problem. Yes. But Ay, you know yeah. what? Yeah. Ya conoce el camino. Yeah, ya conoce el caminito, le güey. I I knew how to get out of here at five in the morning. Fucker. But he left no. the door open. I'm like, bitch, you should have told it's, me. Bro, it's a great química with Arroyero, <laughs> and it's a great química with my, you know, my boys, Misael, Rafa, who I kept talking shit about, but that's my boy, you know, yeah, yeah. Bash. Yeah, yeah. Steve, Bash, yeah. All, you know, all that, and then. Combustible. Hello, hello. It's, hey, but shout out your social media for, uh, you know. You know, and let me shout out one more thing. It's uh, the drummers group chat, you know. It's there you go. Fucking, it drummers group chat? There, we have a drummers group chat. Me, uh, Rafa, Willie de La Deriva. Uh, no, I'm no. A, I'm going to bring all these fuckers in. Wait, yeah. Willie, what's Willie's? Um, Ramirez. No, 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 but the band. I, Los uh, Ramirez. Decibel. Decibel, there oh. we go. But Willie. Los Ramirez, huh? Uh, yeah. You know, Jesiel is in there, the um, Which Toxics. He's, he's opened his office. Yeah, he just opened his office. I Call think him. we should have a drummer drama. Yeah. Uh, Higuerillos, uh, Guerrero, uh, Julio. Julio, there we Julio. go. Yeah. Julio. He's cool as fuck. Yeah. Hey, I love Chiro, that guy. 
Cheetos in there. Ricky, my tocayo. Hey, I think we're having Cheeto. Is it next week or yeah, yeah, week yeah. two? Add me to that chat. I'm just going to fuck with all of y'all. Bro, it's literally <laughs> nothing but drummers. Piggy's in there. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, I think he deleted yeah, his yeah, Facebook. Yeah, 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 no, no, but he's still in the group yeah, chat. Uh, oh, no, no. He is. Yeah. I can't remember the name right now, and I'm sorry. Forgive me, bro. Uh, de, la, de la Dinamita Norteña. We just added oh, no, no, him. No, no. I, I, all I know is come by Andrew. Oh, yeah, Dinamita, yeah, yeah bass player. Bass player, yeah. But, yeah, no. Hey, before we leave, me mandó un mensaje, güey, because I, I Snapchatted you, güey. Me mandó un mensaje a mi compa, Jeremy. Oh, what's up? Uh, arriba, Puerto Rico. Arriba, Puerto Rico. And the uh, first thing... I want to say Ponce or some shit uh, like that. Because the first thing he said, mandó un saludo, güey. What's up, Jeremy? Arriba las times, class of 2008. <laughs> There you go. But the first thing he told me, he's like, That's tiny. What the fuck is that, way? Tell uh, me. So I was a football player. Because you're not even a fucking tiny, bro. No, no. That I was a football player. And uh, at Steinmetz, that was my nickname for since like sophomore year. He's tiny. Like, What up, Tiny? Yeah, he's like, oh, that's my boy Tiny. I'm like, uh, Tiny. También aquí me mandaron snaps ahí con mi compa Belito. My brother or the No, no, no. Perez. He said uh, to say hello y que le mandara un, un shout out. We talked him. about him. He, and like I said before, he's actually the reason why I actually met all three of you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, and uh, Rafa said TFTI. Yeah. Thanks for the invite. Hey, he's, he's coming. coming. He's coming. Hey, I mean, hey, Snapchat. Oh, we'll book hey, Snapchat. We're hey, going to invite hold on, him hold right on, now. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Faustino. Yeah. Arriba Veracruz, Rafa. <laughs> as long as you don't want to fucking admit it, como me dicen a mí de Guerrero, ¿verdad? Wait. Hey, uh, Rafa, we're going to make an open invitation. You and your brother. Officially. Fuck Officially. Richie. You gonna come by or what? Let's do it. Richie, Rafa. R Richie won't yeah. come, bro. He's la, too pretty. Toda la gente de San Luis Potosí. Yeah, no, yeah. they're from Veracruz. We're actually we're actually expanding. Oh, we're not, we're uh, I don't know if it's the mom or the dad, but they're, they're somewhere, somewhere like somewhere me. All I know is from Villa Juarez. No, they're they're like me from Jalisco, Jalisco Guerrero. They're their mom they're or dad Jalisco. is from <laughs> Their mom or their dad is from Veracruz and they won't admit it, those wow. dicks. Está como oh. compa Rafa, como hey. compa Rafita. Rafita? Ese es güey dice que es de Guerrero, eh? Pero no, no, compa Rafita es de Zacatecas, dice que hey. es de Zacatecas, pero I think his mom is from like another state too. No, it's Guanajuato. 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 Oh, I didn't know yeah. that one. But he raps yeah. like Zacatecas hard as hell. He says Zacatecas. Puro Valparaiso, right? Yeah. Saludos yeah. para el compa Rafita, el JR. He, I don't know if he listens to us, but he's also a truck driver. Es culo. Saludos, saludos. Como dice el güey, what's his favorite word? Pendejo. <laughs> but yeah, Ricky, hey, thanks thanks for coming by, man. It's nah. three hour pod. Th yeah, three hour. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Bro, and I feel like we talk nothing but bullshit. Hey, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. And that's when what it, it's about, though. No, it's, but the, the thing is because... I told you it wasn't going to be an interview, bro. No, hey, when it was... When it's así, it's the flowing. It's boys. And the thing is, it's me and Misa and oh, Faust. Ya yeah, no hay ni madres, güey, no mames. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Misa and Faust, I know them now since I was one... Say, I want to say... Uh, 18, I'm 32, you know, so that's a good fucking... Damn, he, he, just he, us, bro. he just put my age out there. Dude. No, I'm 32. <laughs> you guys are like 40. Shut so. the fuck up. No, fuck you. The primo says I'm not talking. Fuck you. I'm like 30. And then Senso, <laughs> hey. I met at the beginnings of Adrenalina, so... Yeah. yeah. yeah it's, I'm 15. It's been a long relationship, but obviously with you two fuckers... I'm like, 23, like Michael Jordan. <laughs> it's pura llevadera. But yeah, man, nah, like, yeah. thanks thanks for uh, accepting the invitation. Thanks for coming by, man. Short uh, notice. It was yeah. a great time, right? Keep, keep doing what you're doing, man. I'm it's like, it's like, bro. We're gone, bro. We're very it's proud fun. of you. And Look, I'm, I've never told you that, but hey, I'm proud of you for, fucking for, for, for getting to where your age and still not being a dad. No, but you doing it. We yeah. want to practice. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, yeah, we should have practiced abstinence. 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 abstinence yeah, we, no, este, unfortunately, we started too early, man. Arroyero, the Lagrima song with. Fucking maquinaria is at like eighty five thousand today Put it, yeah. as of two weeks. Look it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, look it up. Look, 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 it up. look, look them up on, on YouTube. Los mandas, los mandas los, um, los, los, este, los links de tu, um, de tu grupo, obviamente, y también de tu, de tu página para que las insurance también, obviously, y este, I'm tu grupo y, y not too it, involved in the insurance world here. anymore. Hey, but, but you're very I'm, knowledgeable. I'm willing to educate and talk. that's what it comes. Yeah. Yeah. You, should make, you should make a page, bro. On that you give your men a counseling your best and opinions of what insurance companies you will go for. I bet you that shit will get. A I lot still of have my 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 like page from when I, uh, insurance. I can probably do that. I mean, you can change the name like like you know like. I got like you. I can help, promote. I'm help like, people like, like 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 um open their eyes and pick the right choice for them. You know, I'm down. And then you you'll be able to guide people that don't don't have a uh 
you know, they only have a, una, una matricula. You know, yeah, we would help, help him down, with that. Brother, también. I'm down. Porque I know, I know, actually, when I told him about you, some of my bandmates, and they go, but does he, does he take people with matriculas? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I didn't know that was a thing, actually. No, that's actually. fine. I, that's cool. And the thing is, like, I want to say Miso and Steve, and I can't remember which one of the two. I can look it up tomorrow. But Miso and Steve were my first band customers ever. Band? What do you mean? Like, o sea, de amigos. They were my first customers ever. And then for a while, I was doing the insurance for all the Norteño Saxes. So I appreciate it. I love it. You know, it's, you're my boys. And like I said, when I can have a good conversation, and one of my greatest conversations, like I said earlier, was with Rafael Nava. Okay. So I'll take it. Take it. But thank you, bro. Thank you for coming by, Um, you know. Spreading some knowledge on the insurance side. We talked about your musician life. I told you it wasn't going to be like an interview. It's more like a, you know, más una charla. Una, una charla, una charla. You know? este, una charla porque los conozco. Hey, para gente que, que, que nos conoce, tanto como la, 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 la trayectoria de mi compa Pao, mine, and, and obviously yours, este, pues como siempre hemos dicho, queremos que la gente conozca nuestras vidas. Se cómo, 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 cómo crecimos en la música, cómo... ¿Cómo nos expandemos? ¿Qué amigos tenemos? Porque mucha gente lo dice, no, aquel cabrón no se habla con aquel cabrón. No, no, no. We, we do have good relationships. No, we, and we that's the difference with our, our generation. Like, how, yeah. many, how many of us can say, like, I know somebody from this and right, this right, and right. this No, 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 sí. Group. Honestamente, nosotros venimos, venimos de, 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 de trayectorias que, que, like, honestly, sí. Si nos conocimos de mocosos, a veces no nos practicamos, no hablamos, like, like we, we should. Can. Pero, like, we're always busy. Like, we have jobs, you have day jobs, you have insurance. You have a dog. No, and here's the thing. Like, the, these two will call me, like, when they're, like, driving to their job. Or I'll call them, too. Like, when we're, yeah. like, hey, what are you doing? Ah, nothing. Dude, it's an everyday talk with these fuckers. Like, yeah, honestly, them. it is. And let me call you back. I'm in the poll. <laughs> <laughs> in, oh, in every corner. <laughs> hey, Misael, you were sitting down today, no? Because oh, wow. Of, you know, the, the one that your George, uh, George posted? <laughs> wow. Oh, oh yeah, in the, in the forklift. <laughs> I had to use the forklift para que me levantara para arriba, güey. No mames. Bueno. Yeah, compa Celso. Este, bueno, Ricky, gracias por venir de parte de mis compañeros. Muchas gracias. Este, nos decimos adiós y hasta pronto, mi gente. Nosotros somos... ¡Los Calentanos Pacas! Arriba Jalisco. Thank Arriba you, Guerrero, yeah. cocho. Puro Guerrero, hijos de la... Arriba Thank la guía.